Happy Saturday night, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the T, the Silver Stacker live auction. And oh my goodness, what a selection tonight. It's going to be a fun, fun night and lots to choose from here. Let me give you a quick little preview. There we go. Down, up, and this is just the stuff I'm showing right now. Just wait till you see everything else. You're not going to believe it. But uh, before I even get any further, let me introduce Mrs. T. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. And the bestest moderator in the whole wide world, Tuli Tuli, is in the house. And oh man, oh man, let's go over the rules and let's get right into this. Here we go. Here are the rules, my friends. And it uh, seems like just about every week we've got some new people here and there. And last week was no exception. And always glad to welcome new people to the fun here on the channel. And so a very popular question has been for the last 51 weeks. Uh, this is auction number 51. Can you believe it, Tuli Tuli? It's crazy. Uh, is do you need to be a member? And the answer is you don't need to be a member. Shipping is five dollars, but it's free if you are a member at level two, three, or four. The level one won't do it for you, uh, but if you're level two or higher, uh, you get free shipping and it works out well for you financially as well. And you're supporting the channel. So much appreciated to all of my, by the way, this is for all the channel members out there. And there are quite a few of you. Uh, oh, Rick K is new. I'll tell you what, we have another Rick K. He's a real wise guy. So welcome Rick K number two. Uh, please keep track of what you purchase. And uh, now would be a great time to take out a pencil or a pen or look at this, is my favorite pencil. I've always used these uh, same model all the way since the 1990s. Jeff Tooley Tiger Thomas right. just gifted five look memberships. That. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> and if you claim that, yeah, so come, up. if you mm -hmm. claim one of those memberships and you figure out how to do an upgrade to level two, then boom, you got free shipping. But Jeff, thank you so much. Yes. Much appreciated. Uh, now would be a great time to pull out a pencil, keep track of what you purchase, and then pay for your purchase after the auction. If you pay tonight, boom, when Mrs. T and I are shipping tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, we'll be good to go. We won't have to chase you down next week. And uh, we'll get this. My plan is to get everything in the mail Sunday night. That's the normal plan that we try to follow. That way it's uh, off uh, on its way to your mailbox. Let the moderators moderate. That's Tuli Tuli. Central C Michigan. Uh, Central here. Michigan's here. All right. And uh, when we're lucky, our buddy Mark from Australia pops in as well. Hope he's doing well. Uh, be courteous. No bad language. This is a family friendly channel. If you came for uh lots of uh foul language i'm sorry this isn't the right place for you we pretty much keep it light here uh so that if there's kids or grandkids in the uh the room they can watch along with you uh, some people even watch on their tv and a uh, bit increments uh, are right here on your screen uh anything under a hundred dollars is a one dollar bid increment once we hit that hundred dollar threshold with we, we we certainly will tonight trust me uh, there's some crazy stuff tonight. Uh, then it's a $5 minimum bid increment. It could be a $7 bid. It could be an 8 or 9 or $10 bid, but it's got to be at least 5 And then I need your address for shipping, particularly you uh, whatnot, excuse me, uh, let's see, Cash App and Venmo people. Well, whatnot's a whole other thing. Yeah. We'll get to that later. Yeah. PayPal is by far our preferred payment method. Uh, scrolling across the bottom there. And if you can't do PayPal for whatever reason, Venmo and Cash App work, but I need your address. And by the way, if TJF is watching this evening, uh, mm -hmm. please email me your correct address. I got something sent back in the mail, my friend, um, and I'll be happy to send it to you. And last but not least, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you guys being here. Looks like over 40 people who are ready for an auction, but we don't even get to the auction 
until after we give away silver. Take a look here. This is the giveaway right here. There was this guy named RH who kept on winning everything. So I had to add a second prize. And then a dude named Knox started winning all the second prizes. Uh-oh, there goes the alarm system. Yeah. And then uh, we added a third and a fourth. So now four people will start this evening's festivities with silver allocated for them. Woo! Must be a raccoon or something like that out there. And Central Michigan says, smash that like. Thank you very much, Central Michigan. And let's see. Ooh, here we go. First question. Oh, I almost forgot. With each uh, question comes a little commercial. Subscribe and hit the bell. If you just came across the channel, make sure you not only subscribe, but hit the notification bell. And let me move this. I'm going to move this wire before I just crash my whole system here, Mrs. Yeah, D. Yeah. And you know, there's uh -huh. so much stuff going on here. I've got wires everywhere. Yeah. And the see this right here? Yeah. I do not want to snag that. No. I'll and snag I'll be it. crying like a big baby if this whole thing goes to kaput because I snag a wire. All right. Here is the question. You guys ready? Here we go. Isaac from the Gold Depot 2 found what coin made into a secret container? And he thought, well, maybe that was like one of those opium containers. Maybe, uh, and Josh thought, well, perhaps somebody put a picture in there and kept it as like a locket. And the correct answer, whoops, there goes one of those grammars. <laughs> the correct answer is Colombian exposition or, or anything close to that. I'm pretty lenient on the rules. And let me scroll up to see who I see got the answer right. And I see a Dev Devil in disguise said, hi, y'all. And Elkine's here. Rick K says, Columbian Expo, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Kevin, the coin hunt says, opium dollar. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was specifically asking uh, what kind of coin, and it was a Columbian Exposition coin, and it was a half dollar, not a full dollar. So, uh, sorry, Kevin, uh, I'll I'll get you on the next one, but not this one. Next is Indiana in person, and uh, Columbus Expo is close enough for Knox. Is that for Mrs. T? Yes. So who do you have, Rick K? Oh, I gotta start all Indiana over. Indiana person. Rick K. Uh, <laughs> Indi uh, let me start from the yeah, all the way up to the top. You said Knox, and then you need I need one more. Uh, let me go up to the top. Okay. top. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rick Case says Columbian Expo. Uh -huh. And then Indian in person, then Knox Stacks, and then Mike. Okay. All right. Woo! All right. I'm all getting right. kind of hot in here. And the light's not even on my head over okay. here. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Mrs. C. we go all right let's do a buck and go just for the heck of it and i don't know i might do buck and go all night well, last uh, week it worked out just fine mm -hmm. let's see if this little bugger stays yeah it will all right here you go buck and go on a morgan dollar and who doesn't save morgan dollars i don't know you must be some kind of communist if you don't put morgan dollars back 1921 everybody loves morgan dollars this happens to be a 1921D, as in Denver, and for a buck, can't go wrong on a Morgan dollar. Let me zoom in a little bit. There's that. There's that. And, and Henry Hicks is at 14, and we're off to the races, Mrs. T. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. There's that side. There's that side. 1921. Uh, not the rarest, that's for sure, uh, but it's a Morgan dollar, nonetheless. And, oh, Mrs. PPP is here. Hi, Mrs. PPP. Hi, Mrs. PPP. Gene Anderson is at 26. And if you're new here, let me take a sip of coffee here, Mrs. C. Okay. Sounds good. If you're new here, uh, let's see, no IQ is at 27. The way I uh, do this, Jeff is at 28. I do a countdown going once, going twice, and once I get to the point where I hit type out sold in the comments, then any comment after that is null and void 
anything before I type out sold. So I'm going to say Jeff going one time. And now that all that is explained, uh, Tuli likes to keep me honest there. Uh, Jeff at 28 going two times. And uh, let's see, how did you know the Oscars are on tomorrow? There's a movie I, we need to see, Mrs. T. Oh, yeah? It's called Oppenheimer. Ah. There's only one problem about this movie. Hmm. I heard that it's longer than World War II. It's a movie about yeah. World War II that it was somehow they made it actually longer than the war itself. Uh, so uh, we better have about six hours to commit to that movie. Looking forward to that one. Yeah. And sold, sold, sold. Where are we at? I was talking about Oppenheimer is supposed to win all the awards tomorrow night. Looks like No IQ at 29 got that. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah all right there we go all right man i get distracted easily uh don't get me going now guys all right that uh, number one's off on the board or off the board however you want to say it let's go with oh what the heck let's do an ancient i've noticed that you guys like the ancients and let me move that up a little bit this is an ancient coin don't ask me where from what century or anything i don't know much about ancients but I do have access to the premier store uh, coin shop in the country that deals in ancients. It's called Harlan J. Burke. And they have, uh, they allow me to cherry pick from their collection of ancients. And it almost, almost looks like, I don't know what kind of writing that is. You'll have to do some research uh, on your own. I think it goes this way. I see H E, I don't know, R mm -hmm. something. I don't know. You, this would be a fun little experiment. Buck and go. Um, and I don't know what ruler this is. Is it Greek? Is it Roman? Uh, you can do the research and have that fun on your own if you are the new owner of this one right here. Let me see what the best lighting is. There we go. Does that help? There it is. It's trying to focus now. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at Cranky at $5 on a maybe a 1700 or 1800 year old coin. Henry mm -hmm. Hicks says six. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Uh, Cranky's at 10. Pete's at 10. Uh, Pete, you're behind. The Broke Stacker says hi. Hi, the Broke Stacker. Nice to see you here. And is it silver? Yes, it's pure silver. No, I don't know uh, what it is, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I don't know, bronze maybe? It uh, doesn't look like copper. It doesn't have that reddish sheen to it. But it's, gosh, hundreds and hundreds, uh, I don't know how many centuries old. And let's run it at uh, $13 to Elkine going one time. Here's your chance to A, own an ancient coin, but B, have a little fun doing some research on its uh, origin. Probably bronze. That was my guess, Cranky. I'm going to go two times. Oh, Cranky says 15. Hi, Six Pack. How's it going there? We've got over 50 people here this evening having some fun. We'll start that uh, countdown again to Cranky at 15 once. Cranky mm -hmm. at 15 going twice. And going once. Going twice. And... So, so, so. I'm telling Mrs. T, I might have to go just a little bit faster today. Mm -hmm. All the stuff to go through, and it's just amazing uh, what we have to offer this evening. Hmm. And speaking of that, where do I even go from here? How about this? Who doesn't love, whoop, that's not going to work. Who doesn't love an Englehard bar? I wonder if he'll stay like that. He's got a friend too. Uh, and no, they're not consecutive. Uh, you got a couple Ingle Hard Bars. What variety, you ask? You've got the three Ingle Hard full complete across the back. And uh, let's see what these go for. Let me put it this way. Uh, start me off at a buck. Uh, so far, so good on a buck. I'll do it all night long if it works well. A buck and go on vintage Ingle Hard Silver. In case you didn't know, Ingle Hard is the premier name in vintage silver the uh whoever wins this 
will get their option of either one, two, or three pieces. And it looks like we just hit the 60 mark, Mrs. T. Yeah. Uh, Mike's at 31. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these typically go for the high 30s, uh, sometimes into the 40s. And did you know what happened to silver this week? Oh, boy. It went up and up and up and up. And silver going through the roof. So get this vintage silver now while you can. And Phil, hey, fill in the blank, is... At 35 going mm -hmm. one time that's around the vicinity of where i paid for it let's see if that holds up phil uh hi david oh david got some good stuff for you my friend real good stuff uh phil at 36 mm -hmm. uh well actually phil y'all bid yourself phil you were at 35 uh and then you went to 36 so phil at 35 the next bid would be at 37 and if you wanted to take this down, we're looking at Phil at 35 going two times. I wonder how many he'll take. Oh, Jay was 35 first. That's why Phil went to 36. Yes. Well, maybe Jay will go up to 37. Let me start that over. Yeah. And going once, going twice, Phil at 36. Mm -hmm. And going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Oh, Jay, just behind, just behind Jay. Nice attempt, but you didn't make it in time. Phil, in the blank, <laughs> has the option of one, two, or three on the Engelhardt. At that price, it would probably be three, but Phil's prerogative. And we'll see what uh, Phil, in the blank, does here. All right, Mrs. T, what should I do next? I don't, I've got a lot of gold tonight. If there's any, uh, all three, congratulations. If there's anybody here who likes gold, uh, and just like I was talking about silver going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, where is gold even? Is it 2200 yet? I mean, it was flying up this week. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm talking about gold. Here we go. Uh, we'll start big early. We've got over 60 people here. We've got the IGR, a gram of gold, beautiful, carded, and it's got a serial number down there. And what's not to like about a gram of gold? Nice little package here. It's actually inserted uh, inside a little plastic card. It's not paper, it's plastic. And a nice display there. Buck and go. Why not? Buck and go on a gram of gold. And if it goes well, uh, we'll see if we pull out more. There's only one way to find out. A spot, is, and Mrs. P, uh, Triple P says 2179. Dang, almost 2200. So these will be going for over 100 bucks in the very near future, uh, if not already. Um, so buck and go on a gram of gold. Here we go. Let me take a sip of H2O. Hopefully we have some gold fans here. I sure do have a lot of it. We'll see. Yeah. Ah, let me see here. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, that. What's that, Mrs. T? I think, they, I think you do. I mean, there's you a think? lot of people like it. Maybe what? we like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we put it back. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Where are we at here? 65. Ooh, way below my uh, cost. Way below. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, it might be the first and last bit of gold. No, Cranky takes it up to 70. Uh, we're still below my cost. Hopefully, it goes a little north of that. And we have over 60 people. And guys, uh, I mentioned it last week. I think it really struck a chord with a lot of people. Don't listen to those big guys on YouTube who have very fat wallets and they tell you, uh, you know, don't buy anything less than an ounce of gold. I'll tell you what, I say get it when you can get it. And here you go, here's your offering. Gram of gold, $70. And that's bargain price, that's below my cost. This will be the last gold of the night if it stays there for Cranky. Uh, the Fall Guys at 71. And uh, still, below my cost, my friends. I uh, like my fractional gold. Yeah, me too, Tuli Tuli. I do like my fractional gold. 
And I'm going to say the fall guy is 71. Mm -hmm. All right. The fall guy. Well, okay. Cranky's at 72. Bumps it up a little bit. And Thule's at 75. Uh, Gene, uh, you're behind at 75. You'd have to be at 76 or higher, uh, which is still below my cost. And uh, did I mention gold's almost at 2,200 an ounce? Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, Cranky's at 76. And we've got a slow climb through the 70s, Mrs. T. Mm -hmm. uh, Cranky at 76. Uh, hopefully it goes a little north of that. Going one time to Cranky. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a snipe attempt here or there. 76 with Cranky. Uh, oh, Fall Guy's at 77. Cranky, you're out. And it's getting a little warm in here, Mrs. T. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not feeling warm. I think it's just you. You're doing all right? Yeah, okay. I think it's your coffee. Yeah, it must be. All that caffeine. Fall Guy, yeah. 77 going one time. Fall guy at 77 going two times. And uh, we're over 70 people watching. They're watching me give away a gram of gold. Oh, Cranky slowly bumps it up to 78. Thank you, Cranky. Uh, fall guy, you're out. I think last week or the week before these were going in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And then gold shoots way up all week. And go figure. <laughs> <laughs> People yeah. are bidding less. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Maybe it's too early in the night. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say Cranky at 78 going two times. And going once. Oh, by the way, I visited Sherry today. Uh, Fall Guys at 80. Newt, you're behind at 80. Mm -hmm. And I visited Sherry. We had a nice conversation. Uh, keep an eye out for a video with her in the very near future. Mm -hmm. Maybe even tomorrow afternoon. I don't know. We'll see. Or, or Monday. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, fall guy at 80 going one time. Uh, fall guy at 80 going two times on a nice little gram of gold. Going once. Going twice. And... So, so, so. Oh, snipe. snipe John Marines. Snipes it at 81. Nice mm -hmm. job. Well done. And uh, guys, wow. any auctioneer will tell you, I do this every week. <laughs> uh, nice. Bid early, bid mm -hmm. often, and bid your highest bid. Uh, and nice snipe. Well, wow. as a matter of fact, well, we time. better call the cops on this guy. <laughs> first, first really good snipe of the night. Yeah. All right, let's see what else might strike people's fancy. Let's go smaller then, mm -hmm. and let's do this. Where's Tiger, guys? Anybody seen Tiger tonight? Mm -hmm. I think he might need these for the jungle. Oh, man, too bad he's going to miss them. Uh, look at this little dude. Year of the monkey. You've got one monkey, 2016. Two monkeys. Three monkeys. Four monkeys sitting in a tree. And some Chinese writing, 999. These are half ounces. You got the monkeys. Hey, hey, they're the monkeys right there. And uh, let's start them at a buck and go. The winner can take uh, as many as they want. One, two, three, or four. And that's because that's all I've got. I'll use those scissors, Mrs. T. I'll have to cut it apart. 16 bucks on the monkeys. Uh, six pack is at 30 and we're going, the price is on one monkey. You could take up to four monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little funny just saying it. Six pack, $30 on the monkey. Uh, culture of currency. See the silver. Good to see you. Good to see you here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hey, you, you've reviewed every coin on the planet. Uh, perhaps you've seen this one come across your desk. Uh, this is half troy ounce monkey. You're the monkey with some Chinese writing or some kind of Asian writing. Not familiar with going two times to six pack and going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. <laughs> All right. And <laughs> Jay says they ain't monkeying around. All right, guys. 
Uh, let's see. Who won the monkey? Six pack. Uh, typo, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to assume you just want one six pack. We could run them back again. Um, and there you go. Six pack. Made a typo. Sorry about that six pack. And uh, how about if we, uh, we run them back again and start me off at a buck again. Six pack yeah. takes one. Thank you, six pack. Appreciate that. Sorry about well, that. You had the order. It was Max and then Jay. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want them at $30, okay. to be honest with you, Mrs. T. Okay. Uh, and Six Pack, thanks for taking that one, uh, since everybody thought you were just putting a hammer down on the monkey. <laughs> yeah, man, oh, man. Uh, Henry's at 15 on the monkey. Let's start it back up. Okay. All right, we're monkeying around on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that monkey. He's oh, no, Six Pack says the wife loves monkeys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. What's not to love about a monkey hanging around on a tree? He's got kind of a stern look on his face there, though. Look at that monkey. Mm -hmm. Nice. There he is. Monkey means business, man. Look at him. All right, we're looking at Henry at 15. Uh, and we'll, that's a good price, uh, Henry. If you get a half ounce, nice piece like that for 15, I'm going to say going one time. We'll see if anybody jumps in at 16 or 17. And rerunning the half ounce yeah. 2016 monkey. <laughs> and they're, they're calling six pack a monkey now. Pete's at 16. <laughs> Pete's at 16. Poor guy mm -hmm. wins an auction for a monkey coin and now they're calling him a monkey. No, no. you like no. that? <laughs> I think the Reese was talking about. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't think you know what? Mrs. Triple P, <laughs> he's clinging to a tree. Clinging. Maybe that's Sing. the serious look on his face. I don't know. No, I don't know. It looks like he's ready to uh, do something. Yeah. Either that or he's about to take a dump uh, and you know no. drop it on somebody. Going once, yeah, he's, he's got like a look of concentration on his yeah. face. Going, <laughs> going once, mm. going twice. And sold that monkey. Okay. Sold that monkey. Pete, how many monkeys do you want? <laughs> Your choice, Pete, on the monkeys. Uh, and, you, and now you could decide whatever that monkey is doing uh, on your own, because they'll be yours. You want one, two, or three? <laughs> three monkeys sitting in a tree. Sounds good. He says two. Okay. Oh, there goes my light. Two, two monkeys. Two Who monkeys. is the backup on the monkey? Henry. Henry. Uh, Henry, I'm going to go on on a limb. Pardon the pun. And uh, I guess that you want one of these. And I think maybe uh, Pete was just being nice to leave you one. Because he's kind of a, that kind of nice guy. So, mm -hmm. uh <laughs> All right, uh, pistol packing pilot, what in the F is my wife uh, doing? <laughs> She's spending all of your money on mm -hmm. all on monkeys, PPP. She just bought this monkey for $1,000. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Henry, did you want that last monkey? Uh, here we go. All right, let's get off of these monkeys and go on to something else. Uh, let's, oh, Tiger! Oh my goodness, Tiger! Yeah. Look what you missed, man! For the jungle, you just pass. missed Henry's the monkey. Oh, Henry, pass! Tiger, there's one monkey left, but who is behind these guys? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe Tuli can help us figure out who is next in line for the monkey. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Okay. All right, let's give that one to Tiger and get this monkey Thank off you. of here. We've had enough of these monkeys. Uh, hmm, Tiger, you were asking about some of those pesos, and I picked one up today. And I have full disclosure, it's got a little bit of copper uh, coming through, copper stain. The, this Mexican gold uh, is notorious for these little copper bleeds. And uh, let's see, it is a dos pesos. It is uh, almost 1 20th of an ounce of gold. And so, hmm, what do you say, Mrs. T? Do we, do we dare throw it up for a buck? 
I don't know. <laughs> the last gram of gold didn't go very well. Hmm. Well, I mean, let's yeah. start it. I'm trying to think what I paid for it today. Hmm. <laughs> Any idea? I don't remember. Let's just start it at, I don't know, 80 bucks and see where it goes. 80 bucks on the dos pesos. 80 bucks on the dos pesos. Mexican gold for your collection. We won't buck and go with this guy. Mm -hmm. And Rick's at 85. See what kind of, I think that's way below what I paid for it, to be honest with you. I think yes. I was closer to 100 bucks, but. I think there was maybe over a hundred. I, I don't know. I don't know. Go look, go yeah. look them up guys and figure it out. Uh, I bought so much stuff today. I think it was 115. I think I paid yeah. for Uh Oh, well, I already threw it out there. Rick Hayes in the lead at 85 and I paid 115. I might take a bath on this one unless somebody else comes to the rescue <laughs> and, and uh, throws a bit out there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, no IQs at a hundred. There we go. Whew. Uh, now I'll only lose 15 bucks, Mrs. T. Yeah. Unless somebody bumps it up a little bit. Knox is at 105. And all right, these guys are coming to the rescue on the little dos pesos, Mexican gold. Well, I know exactly what we'll do next, Mrs. T. Okay. We have over 80 people here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, Knox at 105. All right, getting deals for sure. Uh, <laughs> it's like I'm shopping at the coin hunt, uh, getting crazy deals like this. Uh, Cranky's at 110. We're almost at the price I paid. Uh, let's see. Next bid would have to be 115. The broke stacker saying, wow. And yeah, bargain time. Uh -huh. The only reason I got it for so cheap at 115 is because Sherry loves me so much and uh, we'll see where it lands. Uh, you're getting a really, really good deal here for almost a 20th of an ounce of gold. I'm going to say going one time to, who is it? Uh, Knox? Or no, Cranky. Cranky at 110. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. All about the deals and all about me going broke. Right, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. I threw it out there. And going once to the cranky stacker at 110, going twice, <clears throat> and oh no, IQ bumps it up to 115. I'll at least break even. Knox jumped in at 115. Uh, let's see. The guy that runs that shop is giving me a hundred ounce silver bar at the coin hunt. Man, no way, Rick Hay. That's really generous. Yeah. It, wait, is this the real Rick Hay or the substitute Rick Hay? I don't know. Maybe one Rick, Rick Hay, Hay said he's new here. We're looking at Knox at 115. No, excuse me, no IQ at 115 going two times. <laughs> mm -hmm. No IQ, 115 going once, going twice, and oh, Tiger jumps in at 120. And there we go. Tiger Stacker in the house. Jeff Tooley Tiger <laughs> Thomas is new here too. All kinds of new people here. <laughs> they have a bunch of clones. All right. Mm -hmm. Going Tiger 120. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so so so. Oh, uh, you know what? Tiger's over here complaining about the timing, but he just won an auction. Tiger, congratulations. Yeah. I bought that just for you, my friend. And you got it at a steal. Yeah. Steal, steal, steal. That tiger just robbed me blind. Woo! All right. I've got a neat piece. All right. I, but I have to ask a question, though. Do any of you guys drink whiskey? Any of you drink? I'm not going to auction whiskey, <laughs> but I have something kind of cool. I keep hearing these commercials for this company called uh, Green River Whiskey. They're making these clever little commercials in the Chicagoland area about drinking the Chicago River because it's about to be dyed green for St. Patty's Day. It's lucky to drink Green River Whiskey. Let me show you this side. This is what you call, and by the way, it looks gold, but it's not gold. I sure hope it's not gold because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking go it. Green River Whiskey, 
uh, the whiskey without regret. Now, mm -hmm. cool, cool piece, right? This is what makes it even cooler. This is old school. There you go, 1936. This is what you call exonumia. Mm -hmm. It's not actually a coin. It wasn't minted by a government, uh, but it is cool. It is old. 1936. It's even slammed. Buck and go on the Green River. I don't know which side. I kind of like this side better, to be honest, with the uh, little horse. Mm -hmm. And the gentleman there uh, tending to the horse and the slogan, the whiskey without regret. So, all right. Uh, either A, you're a whiskey lover, or B, you know you could buy this thing and sell it somewhere on eBay or at a show or to your hand it to your favorite whiskey lover, and they will like it a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Jay Swartwood at $18. And... I don't know. Anybody ever hear this whiskey called Pappy? You know, it's good stuff. I heard it's good stuff. Uh, I'm not really much of a whiskey drinker myself. I, I like that side the best. Uh, we're looking at uh, Rick K at $20. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Rick K. That is a man cave medallion for sure. Rick K, Rick the Tick K at $20 going one time. Ooh, that's a bargain. On yeah. Exonumia, I should have given it to Russ to sell over at Harlan J. Burke. Because my guess is there's a bunch of uh, whiskey lovers that go in there. Uh, Miller Light is pretty much, I, I keep it light. Uh, or tequila if I really want to uh, have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. Let's see. How about you, Mrs. Triple P? Mm -hmm. What is your drink of choice? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty boring with the Miller Lite. Mm -hmm. uh, although when I go to, uh, when Triple P and I go to the Cubs game, uh, we're going to go over to Murphy's Bleachers and we're going to have some Bloody Marys before the game starts because that is a tradition for Mrs. T and yours truly and we'll get the top shelf we'll make sure it's made with tito's or the good stuff mm -hmm. and going once well this is a good price it <laughs> going twice and has tequila makes it sold sold sold, sold, sold. Mm -hmm. all right this is a neat little piece of exonumia all right there we go that was a good price too all right guys we have over 70 people here and Mrs. T, how about, hmm, should we do another giveaway? Where are we sure. at here? We're well, at about at... the half hour mark. You're oh, no, we're past see. that. Okay. Yeah, let's do another giveaway. What the heck? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to give away some silver. And there's going to be four winners. And those of you who have watched the videos uh, throughout the week are at a huge advantage. Oh, here's a good question. Mm -hmm. But first, a commercial. Here's the commercial. Join my Remind group. You'll get a text before the auction about, uh, oh, 45 minutes or an hour before the auction. You'll get a text. Hey, T auction's going to start. All you have to do is text this number, 81010, this message, uh, or else there's a link. Uh, Tuli might be able to grab that link up oh, there, uh, way ahead of me, and throw it in there. Join my Remind group uh, like so many of you have, and that way you don't miss an auction because you have a heads up. All right, here we go. How many coins make up my friend Russ's core collection? I like that term he used, his core collection. He's probably got a box of other little stuff laying around here and there. But his core collection is made up of how many coins? And it, the number really surprised me because it was so low. It is five. He only has Ooh. his core collection is made up of five coins now each one of those coins is just uh, a beauty of a mm -hmm. piece uh phil got mm -hmm. it knox got it and let's see here who else everybody was guessing 30. dale m got it and mike got it got yes. that mrs uh, t yeah. got all it. right congratulations. so congratulations guys and thanks for watching the videos and that one was just today actually yeah. all right well, let's go on to something crazy for the folks here who enjoy the silver pours. All right, man, right out of the furnace today. And take a look at this. This is 
PPP, are you ready for this? This is some pirate booty right here. Mm -hmm. Pirate booty. It even says it right on the certificate of authenticity. And you guys can own this booty if you are the high bidder. But before you start, let me just show you. It's about 2.7 ounces. And this is the prototype. Right above this little skull and crossbones is P01. This is the first one out of the furnace. And I pulled it out and it had a nice little sizzle and it was quenched and it was cleaned up and it was fixed up. And there you go. Uh, $1 actually buck and go on the prototype Aztec Pirate booty and mentally corrupted says nice pour thank you very much if you want a little piece of t the silver stacker history there you go has the date and the number p01 and because this is the first one mm -hmm. there you go you have that honor if you win this one yeah all right and it'll be mailed to you with that certificate of, certificate of authenticity It'll be mailed with a little black satchel and my gratitude for supporting my silver pour addiction. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of fun uh, to wake up in the morning, have that first cup of coffee before anybody's up and start pouring silver. I did a little short with this one. I added a little clip from the Pirates of the Caribbean and... <laughs> Revolution likes it. No IQ's at 100 bucks on the prototype. Let's see where she lands. The next bid would have to be at 105. And thank you very much. I appreciate uh, the nice words and the comments and the encouragement, guys. I plan to keep on pouring. I've got some crazy projects in the works. But right now, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have a memory of Murphy's bleachers. <laughs> Good times, PPP. Good times indeed. All right, Tulia, 105. Uh oh, there we go. One, going one. So no IQ, you're out right now. Uh, Tulia is at 105. She has a nice little collection of my prototypes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say Tulia at 105 going two times. Let's see where she lands. And let's see, typing out the word, going once. Uh, let's see, shiny, shiny man. Hi there. Uh, going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Truly, truly, backup bid uh, wasn't even needed. I think you got in before Rick A. You got in before Rick A. I truly, it looks to me. Like you got it for 105, Rick K. Just a little bit late. Congratulations. Two, two. Nice piece. There you go. And Frankie gives a little cheer for Tuli Tuli. And let's see. Hmm. Let's try. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, Mrs. T, pass those other two over there, uh, the colored ones. And yep, pass them over this way. We're going to try this. And these two are colorized. Uh, so you got this one and this one. Let me see if I can, I don't know if the light will be good. Mrs. T, will you put on this light over here? Sure. You've got this guy right here. It's got like a bluish turquoise type look to it. I'll maybe turn it off. That might, I don't know if that's too bright or what. Bluish turquoise type look to it. This one's got a purplish tint. Can you see the colors? It has a purplish tint to it. These are toned. It's got blues and purples all over the place. This one is more bluish. Hopefully you can see the color glimmering there. Let's see, this one is number three, 3.2 ounces. This one is, uh, let's see, number two, 3.1 ounces. Again, you've got the little skull and crossbones. Uh, what the heck? Let's throw them out there. Buck and go, winner's choice. You get either the left or the right, the bluish tint or the purplish tint. Whoever wins will have their choice. A buck and go 
and the pirate booty, the tone, the tone pieces, uh, the little uh, Pirates of the Caribbean pieces for your consideration. And if you don't own any of my silver pours, here's your chance right here. You got number two and number three, you've got the purple tone, the blue tone, uh, Newt's at a hundred, Newt's at a hundred, and Newt will get his choice of either the blue, the purple, or both. And let's see, it. I just went blurry all of a sudden. Let me see if I could get that back. Mm -hmm. uh, we YouTubers love it when our cameras go berserk like that. Let me see if I go out and back in again. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, meanwhile, Newt's at 110. Oh, you could really see the color there, but it's blurry. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me take it away and bring it back. All right, yeah, here we go. You can see the color. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that color. You got the purple. You got the blue. We got nude at 110. Mm -hmm. Nude at 110. I wonder which one he'll take, to be honest. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe what, favorite color might be blue or maybe purple. Going one time. Nude at 110, going two times. Yeah, those eyes stare right into your soul. Uh, Nude's uh, throwing in a backup bid, I think, at 120. And I'm going to say, going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. And I think, Newt, I think you got him at 110, my friend. Which one would you like? Mm -hmm. uh, blue, purple, or both, your choice. And they make great presents as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Newt, just let us know. And as you're thinking about it, I'll think about what are we going to do next? Hmm. Uh, the order was Newt, then Rick. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, Newt says both look good. I'll take the heavier. So okay. the colors didn't matter as much mm -hmm. as the weight. Yeah. And okay. you got 3.1. And 3.2, okay. you got the blue. Yeah, the blue and the 3.2. And there you go. Congratulations. And let's see. And then Rick, would you like the purplish one? Your choice. Right there. It's got the purplish tint to it. And Kevin, the coin hunt. Oh, Kevin just reminded me. <laughs> got some gold for that guy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Newt. I think you'll like it. Uh, when you get it in your hand uh, and look at it up close, this is like the type of silver. You don't have to be worried about messing up a coin or something like that. Uh, by the way, I dipped them in uh, a baking soda solution so the tone just gets locked in there and won't fade away. And uh, hopefully that will work. Okay. No, he's, no, he's uh, pass. Rick, does, he's too masculine. He's too macho to do purple. No <laughs> okay. problem. Here you go, Miss C. You keep okay. that one. That's yours now. Oh, that's mine? That's yours. Ooh, yeah. You see, that. purple's Beautiful. your favorite color. It is. There you go. This, this one goes. Absolutely gorgeous. That one goes with Newt. Okay. And here is your certificate oh, of authenticity. Thank you, thank you, you got it. Oh, you got it. Look at that. Uh, oh. He's a poet and don't know it. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, what's next, Mrs. T? Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll, we're going to do something crazy. Uh, here we go. You've got a PCGS. Yeah, I'm just going to get that there. Mm -hmm. PCGS, Proof 69, Deep Cameo, uh, David's Doubloons, or some of you other uh, numismatic lovers. I mean, this is a almost a perfect example. 79S, by the way. Buck and go on the nickel. Buck and go on the nickel in a PCGS slab. 120. No, that didn't go for $129. <laughs> Get that off of there. And all right. And, whoa, there goes the light. Yeah. A nickel for your consideration. Jay's at five. Jay's at five on the nickel. I mean, it would cost you about 20 bucks to get this thing slab, but. Beautiful nickel there, beautiful example. Jay is at five, and I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy. I'm going to also throw in this dime. So you get a nickel and a dime. Henry's at six, you get a nickel and a dime. 
both PCGS Proof 69 Deep Cameo. You got the beginnings of a little collection here. You got a 79S nickel and dime. And boom, Henry's at 11 bucks on that. Henry's going back and forth 11, 12 with Jay Swartwood. And Knox is in there in the mix. But hold on to your hats. We're going to go a nickel, a dime, and we're going to throw in a quarter. Huh? Boom. <laughs> Proof 69, deep cameo. All three pieces for whatever money this goes for. So all three for All just three. One? Yeah, you got a, basically the start of a collection here. Okay. And right now we've got Henry so, Hicks at $12. So on, for a nickel, a dime, and a quarter? Yes. Okay. Uh, for a nickel, the dime, and the quarter, all beautiful example central's at 20. it would cost 20 dollars just to get one of these slabbed i'm just deciding to be a little crazy tonight what the heck and central is at 20 and 20 dollars for all three pieces wow you gotta be crazy uh yeah Holy. yeah <laughs> i told you it's gonna be a wild night and henry's at 22 on all three pieces there you go and yeah, it's basically a giveaway at this point. Yeah. Um, let's see, where do I put all this? I don't think that's all gonna stay there. There's one, yeah. two. Now I need some way to put this up. I'll put it up here. Yeah. One, two, three. Now I can use my hands to type. Yeah. And if you like them, you better bid quick because they're mm -hmm. fixing to go away. All three in an envelope to your mailbox, my friends. Nickel, diamond, quarter. Mm -hmm. Man. Give that to a, yeah, beauties is correct. Give that to a young uh, coin collector, mm -hmm. and they might what year? Uh, be very happy. Uh, the quarter is a 96, the dime is a 79, and they're all S, and the nickel is a 79 S as well. So, put that all there. Boom, boom, boom. And mm -hmm. uh, where are we at? $25, okay. Mm -hmm. $25 going one time. That's crazy. $25 going two times. And that is, yeah, insane deal here. Current bid, J of 25. S -O -L. Well, David's is at 27. Oh, David bumps it up to 27 right in the nick of time. I know David likes his coinage and his numismatics uh so david you're in the lead right now and uh let's see we need to be at 28 bucks or higher they are all silver oh, oops mm -hmm. and i'm trying to remember if the s stands for silver or what I, it might i i really don't remember off the top of my head to be honest with you uh let's see Going once, Nick and Rick responds, no. Uh, oh, San Fran. Thank you. Thank you. How can mm -hmm. I forget that? Uh, where are we at anyway? I'm going too. You're all shook up? I know. I know. I almost knocked over my light too. Yeah, I know. All right. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Is that David? We got some beautiful examples of American coinage, not silver, from San Francisco. PCGS holders, they all connect there. There you go, my friend, there you go. And boom. Okay. Thank you. All right, and congratulations. <laughs> Woo, let's cool down. I'll tell you what, I kind of like this ancient right here. Here's an ancient, and the reason I picked this one up, and again, if you didn't know, I have access to Harlan J. Burke, my buddy's over there. Hook me up. I get to cherry pick. I like this one. Let's see if I can get that focus. I like this particular coin from Lord knows what century because it's got a beautiful horse and rider on it. And, ah, I'll look at the other side too. It's got some, uh, what is that? Uh, it's hard to even see this side. That's the thing about these ancients. So, so, I don't even know what. And I have to look at it under the scope. But this, with the naked eye, you can clearly see you've got a horse and rider. Buck and go. 
Buck and go on the ancient coin with the horse and rider. Uh, we have a rock star who lives three doors down from us. A rock star? Yeah. Like, what band? Uh, Elkine is a 12 cool. on the ancient coin. Um, horse and rider is what I'm calling this one. Mm -hmm. uh, Elkine is at 12. Who's the rock star? I don't know, but we have a guy from Survivor that lives two doors down from us. <laughs> and he's a crabby guy. Oh, gosh. He's kind of mean for a rock star. Oh. <laughs> he comes and goes to... He goes to Asia, touring all the time, and... PPP says, sorry, T, wrong text. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. see. Uh, we're at $12. Man, that's bargain on a... Could be a 2,000-year-old coin. He is crabby, though. Uh, yeah, he is. He's cranky. Uh, mm -hmm. And speaking of cranky, cranky's in the lead at $15 yeah. as PPP... I'm glad it was a benign message, PVP, because <laughs> Lord knows what kind of weird messages you might be sending on a Saturday night. So, <laughs> uh, Cranky at 15, going two times on a cool old, <laughs> many centuries old horse and rider, going once. I wonder where that rider is riding that horse to. Martin Harrison is at 16. Okay. Martin. Oh, Elkine's at 16. Martin jumped in at 16, but Elkine was there first. Tuli Tuli confirms. Let's see where this lands. Man, I'm burping up those rib tips a little bit. Oh. Do you, uh, anybody here uh, down with the rib tips? Oh, good stuff. All right. Uh, Elkine at 16 going two times. Oh, Kevin and the cat. Going once. Oh, Cranky is at 20. I had a feeling this should be a $20 coin with the horse and rider. There's got to be somebody here. Who, uh, now Rick Hayes in the wrong <laughs> chat. What the hell's going on here? He's saying, you told Kevin to stop doing that to his cat. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, this is an ancient coin. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who these big guys? Are you on the wrong auction? <laughs> wrong chat? Wrong chats, wrong auctions. Oh, wrong God. night. Wrong yeah. Night. <laughs> All right. You're going once, going twice. And oh, yeah. I noticed Tiger popped in and didn't even say hi to Tuli Tuli. Gave her the cold shoulder. No, no. I think he did. And he's trying to come back and like uh, make up for it now. Going oh. once. Going twice and sold, sold, sold. Who won the horse and rider? Was it Cranky? Yes. Cranky got it? All right, congratulations. That's a neat piece. All right. Oh, um, hmm. We've been talking about Kevin a lot. Let me see. Is he still here? I don't know, Kevin. Or did he take off with his cats? Kevin Hunt? Oh boy. Kevin Hunt, are you here? Kevin, I don't want to run this next one if Kevin's not here. So let's wait till we hear from Kevin. In the meantime, oh, let's see. Ooh, speaking of cats, mm -hmm. speaking of cats, look at this cat. Oh, man. Those crazy Canadians, they did it again in 2023. And look at this. You've got a saber tooth cat. Canada 2023, two ounce, comes in a beautiful capsule, a nice thick capsule. You've got uh, Pistol Packing Pilot's favorite on this side, and she's got a little smirk on her face. And But this isn't the side that everybody loves. Look at this. You've got the Canadian Cybertooth Tiger, or Sabertooth Tiger, not Cyber. No. He'd be have a keyboard in his paws yeah. if it was Cyber. Sabertooth cat right there. And yeah, this I saw this one today for the first time ever. Uh, what do you say? Buck and go. Two ounces. Killer piece. Like literally killer. Looks like he's about to kill a gazelle or something like that. Mm -hmm. Leaping right out of the coin. The saber tooth cat. Uh, and two ounces of beautiful Canadian silver. 
Uh, Mike's at 50. Martin's at 56. And mm -hmm. here we go. Look at that piece. Where is the cat lover, Kevin? The he guy, left. He, he left for real? Yeah. Uh, we'll put this other cat piece away. Yeah. All right. Unless Rick the Tick wants to buy it for him. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That would be like being a really good buddy. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Pete's at 60. And I have a tube of those. Mm -hmm. uh, they're nice in person. I can tell you that. Uh, and JK, you might want to confirm that one because they are pretty. And there you go. Saber tooth. Chain yank. And <laughs> All right. Send me again what you sent me, huh? Tiger's talking to someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the heck's going on today? Oh. Rick Hayes said he's playing cards. The heck, playing go fish. All right. No. Beats at sixty. Oh, that's a just an amazing price on that. I think a lot of people multitask while they're. Like, you think so? I think. I guess. I don't uh, know. I can't do that. But sixty dollars is a bargain. Going once, going twice. Oh, Tiger's at 61. He, It's not, what well, is it? I guess it is a saber-toothed tiger. And it, like one of Tiger's relatives, distant relatives, ancient relatives. Uh, Pete's at 62, battling it out with Tiger. Pete's in the lead right now at 62, going one time. Pete's in the lead at 62, going two times. There's Kevin. Oh, there he is. Look, Kevin, this is a tiger, a saber two tiger. It's a cat. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Going once, going twice, and, oh, tiger's at 63. And I'll say tiger at 63, going once. Pete's at 65, and <laughs> Kevin's meowing. And he's yet put in a bit of 64. Oh, man, just, just a little late there, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I'm going one time. Going two times on the cat. Mm -hmm. Jumping right out of the coin. Going once, going twice. And sold, sold, sold. We got it. Tiger at 66. I knew he might need one of these for the jungle. There you go. Good okay. price on that too, Tiger. All right. Oh man, I've got some crazy Libertons tonight. Uh, let's start with a little guy. Let's start with a little guy. There you go. If you don't know about proof coins, they are the best example that any mint can possibly produce. And this is a 110 pounds, 2023 Mexican silver Liberton. The only, actually, I think the last one of these that I have that's not in my personal collection. So here's your chance, buck and go on the one tenth ounce Libertad. Buck and go, Martin's at 10. And this should be up in the $30 range by the time it's all said and done. But knowing it's my last one, mm -hmm. uh, just be advised, I don't have any more of these to pull out. And if you don't have one, here's your chance. Let me put that there. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. And I put that down and try to focus. And maybe if we're lucky, it'll let us zoom right in. Mm -hmm. There you go. There she is, one tenth ounce. Not the best focus, but you guys can see pretty well. No IQ is at 25. And that is still bargain prices there mm -hmm. on such a beautiful coin right there. Uh, the mintage on these, uh, Raymond Big Dog is at 30. Mm -hmm. um, the mintage, I'm not exactly sure, but I can tell you from past experience, they will be low. Uh, Raymond at 30 going one time. Raymond at 30 going two times. And we're getting ready to give away some silver in just a moment. Oh, Thule Thule at 31. Thule at 31. No IQ is at 33. And mm -hmm. uh, let's see. No IQ at 33. Thule confirms. And I'm going to say going one time. 
no IQ at 33 going two times. And uh, Raymond's at 35. Raymond Big Dog is at 35 going one time. Yeah, uh, you try to put these together. Mm -hmm. uh, you get these little guys and you put them with the big guys. And before you know it, you need the middle one. And mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a process. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Oh, Tuli Tuli talking about big money with that gold. Uh, Raymond, congratulations on the nice purchase there. And let's see, the big dog got the little coin, and it's time for the big coin. Boom. All right, everything I just said about the 110 mm -hmm. applies to the full ounce. And there she is. I mean, whoever gets this, you might want to consider getting it graded. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, the best example that any mint, and by the way, and we'll start it off at a buck and go. Uh, the Mexican mint is, uh, you guys know I'm biased, but I mean, you're, you're not going to find many other mints that are better than the Mexican mint. They are world famous for the beauty and the quality of their coins. There you go. One ounce. And by the way, this is the last one of these. I don't have any others to pull out. Mm -hmm. And this is it. Come and get it. Rick K is at 65. Rick K is at 65. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of water here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of agua. Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. All right. We got a little quarrel here? Yeah, because like Rick K, the Rick K's are talking to themselves. Oh, yeah? Or going back and forth. <laughs> Rick K? Yep. Oh, the two Rick K's? Yeah. See. Oh, man. Will the real Rick K please stand up? Please stand up. Rick K. Uh, I like this Rick K that's winning right now. I don't know about the other guy, but this one's pretty cool. He's pretty clever and funny. Um, all right. Rick K at 65 going two times. And yeah, if you need to go on eBay or somewhere else, take a look at uh, Cash App. It's scrolling on the bottom there. Uh, if you look, you should be able to see on your screen, hopefully. PayPal mm -hmm. is there. And... Uh, big dog if you want to um if you want to wait until the end of the auction you're more than welcome to or uh you can pay now whatever you prefer but cash app is dollar sign t the silver stacker dollar sign Knox is at t the silver stacker what happened while i was Knox. distracted Knox at 68 mm -hmm. oh boy i hate when that happens <laughs> uh let's see mm -hmm. here we go do you accept payment in crypto? Not yet. Maybe uh, maybe somewhere down the road in the future, but not yet. I take PayPal, Cash App, and McDonald's coupons. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. Knox at 68 going two times. And going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Did it hold up, Knox? I think it did. Knox at 68, you got a nice piece. You'll be very pleased with this one when you get it down there in Tennessee. All right, should we continue with the Libertad theme? Man, it just keeps getting better and better. You went from the one ounce to the two ounce, those son says, but this one's backdated. 2015 backdated, and I mean, for wait, 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 go back, go back. Who? So who? Uh, um, Julie, can you confirm then who was the winner? Because she put Rick K was the winner. Oh, she did. But I thought it was Knox at sixty-eight. So can we confirm here? Because I see Knox. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tuli can confirm. And as we admire this yes, beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Tuli. Uh, backdated, and there's a back, backdated labor time, twenty fifteen. This. This is, gosh, this is a $120 coin here. Should we do it, Mrs. T? Hmm? What are you doing? 
What do you think? Should we? All right, buck and go. Let's see where this lands. I think we might have some Libertad lovers here. Yeah. This is backdated. Uh, this should go for well over $100. 2015. They're not making the 2015s anymore. If you need this one for your collection, and I cherry picked this one. This one is in really, really good shape. I mean, like, maybe you should grade this one. And it's, I didn't, you know, see any kind of blemishes anywhere. It's a beauty. And we're looking at no IQ at 100. And that's a good starting point. Let's see where she lands on the dos onzas. Plata Pura 2015. Yeah, two ounces, huh? Yeah, two ounce beauty. Backdated. Ooh, no IQ. Is it going to stay there? Is nobody going to go up to 105? Wow. That's pretty much what I paid for it, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. All right. Actually, that is what I paid for. I was hoping it might go for 110 or 115 or something. Uh, no IQ at 110. Oh, man. If it stays, that's a good bargain, my friend. That's a real good bargain. Going one time to no IQ. Uh, uh, no IQ at 100 going two times. And let's see if it holds. Well, I don't think I even want to run the next labor time. Going once. Yeah. yeah. Revolution mm -hmm. says great bargain. Going once. Which fish finder is that one? Oh, fish finder bumps it up. He knows. Just in the nick of time, I was my finger was quivering over that enter button <laughs> all right Shaking. fish finder at 105 going one time that's still a great bargain at that price to be honest with you fish yeah, yeah it is a gem central michigan knows 110 <laughs> if you wait long enough it'll go to 300 well <laughs> we're not doing anything tonight mrs t we waited to sit here with my Finger hovering over the enter button. No IQ. Oh, man. All right. Where are we at? Central Michigan going two times. Oh, that one just gave me a headache. Just, just sit there. Going once. Going twice. And quiver. So, so, so. Oh, fish finder just behind mm -hmm. Central Michigan. You got yourself a good deal. I think you're gonna like that one. All right, this next one, I don't, I, I don't think I could do a buck and go on this next one. Uh, this next one is loco. Oops, mm -hmm. as I break my camera, I got all excited about this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, is right. Look at this guy. Yeah. I mean, I have to scan the camera up and down just to see it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Upside down again. Here you go. The early release 2023 silver MS 69. Look at this beauty. Big, heavy slab. Five ounces 2023. And there you go. Beautiful. Face reveal. Oh, there's my fan again. And I don't know, guys, uh, this one, Mrs. T's kind of waving me off like, don't do it, T. Don't do it. Um, oh, boy. I, I can't yeah, even set it down. To put it on one of those All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this one. At, and this is low. This is way low. I'm going to start this one at 200 bucks. And I, I already regret that even coming out of my mouth, to be honest with you. So if you want to throw out $200 to get it started, uh, I already said it, so I'll do it. And if not, it'll stay in. It, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful, look at that yeah. thing. Crazy. 2023. There you mm -hmm. go. All right, I think I'm gonna Keep it. put. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna put this one back here, and there we go, off the board. Okay. Whew. I was, uh, I was. I don't know. The whole time I was thinking I should just keep that. So all right, here we go. 
<laughs> Let's go on to the next thing. Hurry up. Like, yeah, uh, here's a couple of Inglehards, guys. <laughs> the better, old prospector. You hurry. Yeah, you guys had your chance. That's gone. 82. There you go. You got the big E. 82. Look at that logo. Big E, Inglehard. And then on this side, <laughs> yeah, you've got the eagle and the flag. And... <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Um, there we go. All right, guys. Angle hard. Buck and go. You got the 82 and 86. 82 and 86. There you go. Your choice. Uh, you know what, Knox? I, you know what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know why I was even messing around with that. I knew I wanted it. <laughs> in my uh stack and i don't know why i even threw it out there i guess i go back to my coin dealer friends saying that like if you keep everything you'll go broke and that one's yeah. kind of worth going broke over <laughs> all right you were like oh yeah the whole time uh-huh and so your choice the 82 or the 86 what you're bidding on is for one what you're bidding on is for one your choice the 82 or the 86. R Rick Hayes said he had it typed in. He was, his finger was quivering over the send button and it didn't go. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, let's see. Hey, I sent my payment. Now what? Let me see. I make sure I. Mm -hmm. How'd you send it? Uh, through Cash App? Let's see if it came so, through. And then Max was saying, Me too, Rick. <laughs> uh huh. They just knew. You're, like, even Let's when you see. were putting it up there, you're like, oh, do I really say something <laughs> yeah, I or not? Mm -hmm. Oh, T. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, looks like Raymond. Yeah, your payment went through. You could have waited till the end if you wanted to, Raymond. And feel free to keep bidding. And uh, if you buy more than a few items, just wait yes. till the end. You can pay you all at once, my friend. And, and then, uh, then I, we just have to ship it, it, Raymond. Call me crazy, but... Uh, I trust people, and most people around here have uh, been good about paying. If you want to send me your address, if you didn't already through Cash App, here's my email on the right side of the screen. And where are we at? Where are well, we at? You're at oh, I don't Martin even know. At 50. Martin at 50? All right. Martin, you under Martin Anderson at 50. All right. Martin at 50. Unless he changed it. Oh, wait. Tuli <laughs> says at that Martin oh, thought the price was for gold. Oh, so no. okay. So okay. who was before Martin? Before Martin was uh, Henry Hicks. Henry at Hicks 40. at 40. Okay. Henry at 40. Henry at 40. Going one time. No problem, Martin. Henry at 40 mm -hmm. on the old prospector. Going two times. And... That's not a bad price on vintage, old, 40-something-year-old silver. Going once, going twice, and Fish Finders at 41. I repeat, Fish Finders at 41, and those rib tips are coming up a little bit, Mrs. T. Whew, mm -hmm. I kind of gorge myself on some good barbecue. You ever go to a joint where there's like smoke billowing from a smokestack, and you're like... No, that's the good stuff there. Whew, that was today. Going once, going twice. Rick, hey, you know about the rib tips? Good stuff. Oh, you have a uh, king rib down there in Indy, down that way. Uh, Tiger is talking about melting, and I'm saying sold, sold, sold. Yeah, fish finder at 41. Fish finder at 41, and. Uh, let's see. Fish finder 41 wants the 86. There you go. Tougher date there. Congratulations. And who was right behind fish finder? Wasn't uh, Henry at 40? Henry, would you like the 82? There it is. The 82. That is also the one with the big E and uh, the bull logo. Henry, just let us know if you'd like the 82. And we'll go on to the next item. And let's see here. Don't forget these two. What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good idea, Mrs. T. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's wait to hear from Henry. And we'll go from there. And we've got something special coming up.
Let me zoom out a little bit. Henry. There we go. Oh, no worries. No worries. We'll put that off to the side. Okay. And put that here. Okay. And looky here, my friends. Looky here. Like my little new little black purse. (laughs) Very pretty, isn't it? All right. This is a piece from Tuli Tuli. Uh, Mrs. T just handed me. And look at Tuli Tuli with this has like a spring loaded. I don't want to snap my finger here. Tuli Tuli certificate of authenticity. We're going to do a Tuli Tuli pour Mm -hmm. crucifix number three, 7.7 grams. Let's put that. uh, Let's put that right. Mm -hmm. We'll put it there. Oops. Right there. We'll put that there and we'll get a good look at this crucifix. Let's see what we got here. And for us Catholics, it's Lent. And then Thule has, what is this? Struggling with this lady. Another one of her upside down uh, stickers. There you go, Thule Thule. And it's, oh, I see. You just go like this. Mm-hmm. See, Mrs. T? I figured, yeah. see what a genius I am? Yeah. I figured it out. All right. Where's PPP at anyway? Look at that. There we go. All right. <laughs> Okay, so. Ooh, look at that. Seven. Did you put it in? Okay, so. Oh, uh, you're showing it. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm, oh, okay. It's got really good detail, uh, Tuli Tuli. Wow. Yeah, yeah, excellent detail. The wood and the cross. Yeah. And very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. Uh, Tuli Tuli, what do you say? Buck and go mm-hmm. on the beautiful piece. It comes with the certificate of authenticity. It comes with the sticker, the little pink satchel, and Mm -hmm. from where I'm looking right here, the detail is quite, I mean, mean, you can even see his belly button there, and his cloak is really good detail. Mm -hmm. Uh, Great artistry on this piece. Buck and go, and it's 7.7 grams, but you're not paying just for the silver here, my friends. You're paying for the great artwork from our friend, mm-hmm. Tuli Tuli. Let's see if it stands up there so I can focus a little bit better. Put it there, there, right in the middle of the screen. And Shiny Man is a 45, Stacker mm-hmm. Man is at 50. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna win, the Stacker Man or the Shiny Man? <laughs> Some, one, one of the man. One of the man. One man is going to win. Shiny man is uh, in the lead at the moment, and 55. shiny, at fifty-five. L kind at fifty-six. Tuli Tuli, you've got a nice piece there. Mm-hmm. Very very nice. Thanks for reminding me to put that up. Let's see. After this, we'll do a giveaway, mm-hmm. and then we'll throw out some other interesting items. Let me get rid of this. I don't want anybody to get any big <laughs> ideas. Yeah. And be like, hey, what's that in the back? Over yeah, no, there? I don't know. Uh-huh. Nope. That's gold. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, Shiny Man is at 60. Tuli Tuli, do you have a YouTube channel of your pores? Tuli Tuli is an awesome YouTuber. And <clears throat> she is one of my buddies. Shiny Man at, is at 60. All right. Shiny at 60. <clears throat> Easter is coming up, my friends. Easter is coming up. And Stacker Man is at 61. We'll start the countdown again. Stacker Man at 61, going one time. Stacker Man at 61, going two times. On the, You can make this a pocket piece. Going once. Going twice. And... Oh, Shiny Man's at 65, bumps it up. We've got Stacker Man versus Shiny Man. Mm-hmm. Which one will prevail? Which man? Which man will prevail? There you mm-hmm. go. Going two times. Yep, definitely. Hi, Gold Maple. Nice to see you here. Gold Maple, one of the most uh, well versed and educated channel uh, subscribers going once going twice 
And sold, sold, sold. Which fan took it? This is C. Here we go. Shiny man at 65. Oh, stacker man right behind. Too late. Shiny man got it. Nice piece there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Congratulations. And we'll put that, that, that. And we'll give away yes. some mm -hmm. silver. Here we go. Giving away some silver. And no RH today. I wonder where he's at. He's normally pretty good at winning these. And we'll go there. We'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the question. All right. Mrs. T, where's it at? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this one's not as easy. I don't know how many people are going to get this one right. I, You know, sometimes I mix in a tough question here or there. Sometimes I throw you softballs. Last weekend's coin show was in what suburb of Chicago? What town was that coin show in? I saw my buddy Josh. I saw my buddy Sam. I saw my buddy Isaac and Peyton and several other guys from the region. And, ooh, this is T. I cannot believe this. I don't remember... RH ever taken a swing and a miss like that before? He normally gets everything right. Orland Park, Illinois. Orland Park. Well, I even misspelled it, but you get the point. <laughs> Orland Park, Illinois. Not far from the mall there. Yeah, and the let's see. Let's see who got it right. If anybody was copying RH, because just because he always gets them right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tinley Park? No, that was like two weeks ago. I said just this last week it was Orland Park. And I that see, was in my video. I see Knox. And Knox, Orland Park. Uh-huh. And then I see Newt. Let's see. Newt, Orland Park. Mm -hmm. Rick K. Orland. Mm -hmm. And Central Michigan, Orland. All right. Oh. Congratulations, guys. Ooh, I guess I kind of like these uh, tougher questions. And a hi there, RH. Oh, okay. See that? All I had to do is summon his name and he popped right up. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's do something easy. An ASE struck at the West Point Mint 2023. This year's ASE looks good on there. And MS69, so almost perfect. There we go. We got the Eagle. You guys all know what it looks like. Buck and go. Buck and go on the West Pint, uh, West Pint, West Mint, West Point. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard, Mrs. T. Mm -hmm. West Point Mint. It has a little W there. The little W down there for West Point Mint. All right, let me take a drink of water. Oof. Yeah, you're good now. Yeah, Buck and go on the slab, NGC. West Point American Silver Eagle from this year, 2023. Actually, from last year. And Kevin wants to know what his was his cat for, or not? Oh, the cat. cat. All right, I got you. Right after this, Kevin. And uh, I hope Rick K doesn't bid you up or anything like that. Uh, we'll see. Tiger might be interested in this one too. The next one. Uh, we're looking at Cranky at 40. We're looking at uh, Cranky at 40. Going, Mike saying backdate. Mike, you want some backdated ASEs? Yeah, that's last year's, 2023. We're currently in 2024. Sorry if I misspoke earlier. That's a 2023 West Point ASE going two times to the cranky one, the cranky stacker. Going, oh, David is at 42. David's at 42. No IQ's at 44. Uh, going for those ASCs. And uh, Simple Hillbilly's here. Hey there, Simple Hillbilly. I'm selling an American Silver Eagle from the West Point Mint. 2023 variety. Going once. Uh, going twice. And... But David's at 45 in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. uh, going once to David. Rick K is at 45. David got there first. 
David at 45 going two times. Roar from Hawaii on holiday. Oh, wow. Hey, simple hillbilly. Enjoy. We've only been there one time in our lives, and man, do we yeah. love going to Hawaii. Can't wait to go back. Uh, if you're able, go uh, snorkeling with the manta rays. It mm -hmm. was an amazing experience. And so, 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 looks like David. Congratulations. And next, we've got, let me see here. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, I, I was hoping I might have a sound effect for this one, but this, my friends, is a cat lover's dream. You've got two little kittens, kitty cats, playing with butterflies. It doesn't get any better than this for cat lovers. It's an actual coin. It's got the queenie on this side. It's Isle of Man Cat, 1 25th of gold. This is a real gold coin from the Isle of Man. And, oh man, I don't even know what I should start it at. Mrs. C, do you remember? Oh boy. Uh, well, what the heck? Let's just do a buck and go. Why not? <laughs> buck and go. See where she lands on the 1. 25th gold coin with the two little kitty cats. Isle of Man. Where is Isle of Man? I got to figure that out. Jay's at 80, Cranky. which is below where I paid. Cranky says cats do not belong on gold coins. <laughs> oh, well, you could buy this one and melt it and get yeah, rid of it. That's true. But those are two cute little kittens yeah. there playing with butterflies. Kevin's at 100. And oh, he is I don't, still here. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's a that's a pretty piece for any animal lovers. It's, it's you've got two different interests. You've got butterflies and cats on this one. So if you're a <laughs> butterfly fly lover, uh, jump in now and before Kevin takes this one down for a hundred dollars. It's a pretty piece. And gold is up, 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 whether you like cats or not. Oh, what year is it? That's it. It's got to be the year of the cat, I would imagine. Let's see. Oh, wait, this is like bat dated. This is 2004. 2000, this is 20 years old. Mm -hmm. They don't make them like this anymore, guys. They don't make them like this anymore. Uh, let's see. Kevin at 100. Newt's at 105. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, Kevin. Newt's at 105. On the kitty cat gold. That's probably why it's not already in Kevin's collection. This is a 20 year old coin here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's see. The Bee Gees are from the Isle of Man. The gold maple is a wealth of mm -hmm. information. I'll tell yeah. you that. Yes. <laughs> well, let's see. Mrs. PPP was in junior high school. Let's see, in 2004, what were you listening to in 2004? Uh, who was out back then in 04? Let's see, were Biggie and Tupac still alive way back then? What were you listening to? Not the Bee Gees. Not the, no, that was way old. All right, we're looking at Newt at 105, going one time. And I can't believe Kevin's not in this one. Uh, after the kitty cats. He's reminiscing about high school. <laughs> this gold tiger, that's a 125th ounce gold Isle of Man. It's an actual coin and it's backdated 20 years. 2004. Oh, there you go. Kevin is at 110. And uh, Newt kept him honest there. Let's see if that holds up for Kevin at 110. Black saying, Eyed Peas and, and Fergie. PP, Miss, Mrs. PPP said Kelly Clarkson. Oh, remember her? Oh, I remember Kelly Clarkson from uh, American Idol, right? Yeah. Yep. And let's see. Kevin at 110 going two times. Oh, Rhonda is a cat lover. Rhonda says, hold up. <laughs> hold up there. 116 to Rhonda. Rhonda oh. at 116. Kevin's at 121, answers right back. Got to have the cats. 
By the way, there's two cats there, Kevin, not just one. Two little kitty cats. One's trying to bat it, bat its paw at the butterflies. The other is just watching. Uh, Kevin at 121, going one time. Oh, Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Oh, my goodness. Mrs. <laughs> T dragged me to a Ricky Martin concert one time. <laughs> Oh Lord, the uh, the the background dancers were entertaining enough, but even that I could only take so much of. You I, and I decided you refused. Yeah, like, we I were. I, I walked all the way up to the lobby, and I found the other straight guys, and we had beers there while our wives were shaking their butts to Ricky Martin, and you know all the other guys wearing flannel shirts and me drinking a you know a, a brewski. <laughs> and uh, but Mrs. T had a good old time watching Ricky Martin. Yes. yes all right. Yes. Where are we? At? You guys got me all distracted now. Um, Vida loca, huh? Yeah. His background dancers weren't too bad though. <laughs> but even then, I could just take only so much. Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> all right, going once. Uh, oh, Kevin said one thirty. And PPP, are you having a conversation with somebody else on another <laughs> yeah. channel? Another. Th Another something else? I don't know. Yeah, are you in the wrong chat? <laughs> yeah, he's in the wrong chat again. He's telling us about his neighbors and his friends. <laughs> Where are we at? Kevin at 1.30 going two times. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Good old Saturday night fun. Going once. <laughs> Going twice and sold, sold, sold. Did Kevin get that after all? I think he did. Kevin at 1:30. All right, Kevin. I hope I hope that was Kevin because I got that one for Kevin. All right, Woo. All right, we've got uh, those pesos. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we'll test the market again with gold and we'll keep it going. You got the Britannia here. Take a look at this one, my friends. You've got the carded Britannia, original maker Britannia. Take a look at that. Lady Britannia right there. And okay, so the back 130 was the back of it. Oh, okay. Kevin was at 121. Okay, that works. That works. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Britannia 999.9 fine gold. And it comes in a little plastic card here. And it's got a little waves on the bottom. But this is the cool side with the little Lady Britannia with that little trident. And oh, it's got even the little Union Jack there at the bottom. Uh, let's try the uh, Britannia for a buck and go. What the heck? Why not? Grandma Gold. Gold is through the freaking roof lately. And here's your chance to have a little gold Britannia right there for your stack collection. Not only is it pretty as heck, but it's gold. 999.9. And Eric's at 75 on the little gold Britannia. And let's see where we land. Mrs. T, I'm going to take a little sip of water. Let these guys battle it out for a mm -hmm. second. It should be way above the 70s, that's for sure, with the way gold has skyrocketed lately. Yes. Uh, no IQ is at 90. That's a little more like it. 80, uh, Newt was at 85. No IQ is at 90. And 91 would be the next bid here if you wanted to go to 91. And both sides are cool. You got Lady Britannia with the shield and the trident on that side. You've got all the details here. One gram of gorgeous gold carded. All right, we're looking at no IQ and 90 bucks. All right. Let's see, Tuli sent, Tuli that, was that email sent to me? Uh, no IQ at 90 going one time. Mm, let's see, no IQ at 90 going 
two times. Oh, Tuli Tuli. All right, no worries. She must be emailing PPP. Going once, <laughs> going twice. Oh, Rhonda is at 91, bumps it up. Says, not yet, maybe just bid a little bit higher. There it is. Trying to focus for you. Mm -hmm. Rhonda at 91, going one time. Rhonda at 91, going two times. Kevin's calling for the blob. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, if you get a new cat, you should name it the blob. Going once, going twice, and... Ready, sold, sold. Nice piece indeed. Oh, wait a minute. There was a snipe. John Marines at 92. Sniperoo. Uh, T, can you shout out Katie? She's a first timer here. Hi, Katie. Nice to have you here. Sniperoo indeed, Jay Swartwood. Wow. Sniperoo Did you get the, indeed. The sound effect? Yeah. There? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a little wow. steal there. John Marines. All righty. And once again, hi, Katie. Hello, hello. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you like the Britannia, wow. I got something even more special to show you. These are very uncommon. There's your Pam Suisse, but the Rose, Swiss made. This is a, called the Rosa. Rosa, right there. Beautiful little rose, Pamp Suisse. And usually, Pamp is, isn't that normally like Lady Fortuna? Um, certified number, fineness, 999.9, one gram, beautiful gold, Pamp Suisse. This is one of the finest little grams of gold you'll ever come across. And we're going to buck and go it. Buck and go, start me wherever you want. Buck and go on the little rose. The Pamp one gram rose. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Jay's at 75, starting us out. And that's a good start. Let's see where she lands on the Pamp Suisse rose. Swiss made, my friends. Pamp is one of the foremost names. And let's see, I'm looking at Fall Guy at 85, no IQs behind. Uh, not one you see every day. Not one you see every day. And Raymond, glad to have you here. Uh, Fall Guy was the first to 85, no IQ, you're out. You'd have to be up a buck on the Rose from Pam Suisse. There you go. And do you have any KFC rounds? Not at the moment. I have Wendy's, but not KFC. I'm sorry about that, Kevin. Uh, Newt's at 90. Newt's at 90. That's a little more like it. And Newt is at 90. I might try to get some White Castle for next week, uh, too, uh, Kevin. Although that makes me a little gassy. All right. Newt at 90. Let's see if it holds up, Newt. And there we go. OC Stacker is asking. Going one OC. time. What's that? OC Stacker. No, not yet. OC Stacker, because he was asking. What's that? Uh, Tuli, did they do your number three? Oh, no, that's and coming up. Let's yeah. do that next. Yeah. After this gold, Newt's at 90. It's got a good price. That's a really good price. There we go. And going once. Going twice, and oh, Fall Guy bumps it up to 91. Newt, you've got to be up to 92. And I'm going to say Fall Guy, 91, going one time. Newt jumps right back in at 92. Newt going one time. Newt at 92, going two times on the beautiful rose piece. That's a nice little piece to just put back. Save a little gold, my friends. Save a little bit of gold. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. That gold, gold, gold. Mm -hmm. All right, nice piece, Newt. Nice piece for your little gold stack. 
Those little ones add up fast. What do we say we're gonna do next? Oh, Tuli Tuli. Let's see. I, I'm seeing this one for the first time. Yeah. And we got a package in the mail from Tuli Tuli. Ooh, this one's heavy. Yeah. Got some weight to it. Let's see what you got here, Tuli. Uh, got a nice little satchel. There we go. Because OC Stacker was looking for this. OC Stacker was looking for a Tuli Tuli piece. Mm -hmm. Wisdom 3.5 ounces. What's just number three? It's only number three. Let's put that there. And we'll put that there. And there goes another one of her upside down stickers. And here we go. Boom. That's a pretty one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's share some of the. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Tuli Tuli, 3.5 ounces. Get the little heart there, 999. Number three. I like that big, you know, those big giant numbers aren't as easy to stamp as you might think, guys. Mm -hmm. Tuli Tuli knows. Let's see. There we go. Tuli, where do you want to start this? Should we do another buck and go? Uh, you know what? I have faith in the group here. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Buck and go. Buck and go on this gorgeous piece. And we'll put her in the light just right. Boom, buck and go. Uh, let her rip, guys. Let her rip. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's a pretty piece. Pretty, pretty, pretty piece. Mm -hmm. Kevin was the first to 100, followed by Troy and Jason. Guys coming out of the woodwork for this gorgeous piece. Yeah. And uh, Rick Hayes at 125. Uh, did I mention? It's 3.5 ounces on it. In addition to the beautiful design, got a big hunk of silver there. Mm -hmm. Almost four ounces. There you go. For your viewing pleasure. Uh, Kevin's at 150. Mm -hmm. Kevin is at 150. Uh, you guys keep uh, considering your bids here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take another drink of water. We've got 70 people here. We're having a fun auction. We'll do another giveaway later. Oh, I've got a neat piece coming up right after this one. Another neat piece. We're just one after another after another. And let's see. We're looking at Kevin at 150 on the beautiful piece. What are we calling this one again, Tilly? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. I see she named it after me. Wisdom. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mrs. T, you're not agreeing with that one? No. All right. Uh, Kevin at 150, and it doesn't even have a cat on it. And Kevin at 150 going two times. And going once, going twice. I, mm -hmm. I knew it. I had a feeling there was going to be a snipe attempt. Yeah. And we're looking at OC and Kevin responding immediately. And yeah, I agree. Elkine, uh, uh, Tuli Tuli has become a yeah, wonderful poor artist mm -hmm. uh, over a short period of time. She's gotten good really fast. Kevin the coin hunt going one time. Kevin the coin hunt at 180 going two times. Wisdom, I need to find some of that. Oh, I've got plenty to share. Oh, uh, don't wisdom. I, Mrs. C? Wouldn't oh, you say so? Wisdom, mm -hmm. uh huh. Yeah, wouldn't you agree with that? Uh huh. Uh, ca oh boy, these dudes, we've yeah. got a heavyweight battle. You know what we got here? PPP, we've got that guy, uh, something Paul versus Mike Tyson. <laughs> what was that kid's name? The uh, something Celebrity Paul, Jackson? and uh. That he's gonna get his not his block knocked off by Mike Tyson in a heavyweight fight coming up soon, and uh, I just hope Tyson can get a hold of that kid, Jake Paul. Yeah, <laughs> and it, we got a slugfest going on. Who's the current leader? Kevin uh -huh. at 200. Shark battle, mm -hmm. Shark NATO. I don't know what we've got going on. I'm gonna say Kevin at 200 going one time. Kevin at 200 going two times. And Cranky Nose mm -hmm. going once, 
going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Oh, see, just a second late. Sorry about that. You were just a second late. Kevin took her down. Nice piece, Kevin. And Kevin, since you already have the checkbook out, I've got another piece that I think you might like. Is Tiger still here? Tiger is a science man. I think he'll like this one. Um, take a look at this, guys. So I bought my microphone. Pull it back this way. Take a look at this piece, my friends. Mm -hmm. Medallic art. Mm -hmm. I know Kevin knows all about medallic art. Uh, let me show you this piece. You got this side is cool enough. You've got David R. Scott, Alfred Warden, their little signatures, James Irwin. Uh, these are guys from the Apollo 15. And David Scott was the commander. But look at this. I mean, take a look at this buggy. I mean, is that cool or what? You've got uh, 4.7 ounces. You've got the guys on, you got the capsule back here in the distance. You've got the little moon buggy bopping around. You've got the Earth in the background. These guys are on the moon, 67 hours, lunar roving vehicle, the LRV. And that's about, <laughs> I don't know what side I like better. I mean, this side is cool. This side is cool. I'm, I'm actually, they're both cool. I'm gonna leave it here. I just like that. It's almost five ounces of silver from Medellic Arts, and um, oh, what the hell? Uh, Lunar Joyride, uh, Joy Ride. Buck and Go. Buck and Go on the collectible piece. You've got the craters of the moon. You've got the little vehicle with the little video camera on it. Two video cameras on it. It's got this little thingamajigger there too. And these dudes are cruising. This guy he looks like he's out for a Sunday drive. He's got one hand on the steering wheel, the other one on his lap like he's chilling, driving on the moon. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, let's see, 1971, uh, end of July, beginning of August, 1971. And let's see, Troy at 155. And again, this is almost five ounces of silver. Mm -hmm. 999 silver and you got a cool piece man cool piece all right we're <laughs> looking at troy at 155 on the moon rover i'm gonna say going one time i'm gonna turn that back over there you go <clears throat> what do you think mrs c hmm. Would you be a, uh, would you go to space uh, as a tourist? No. And they're doing that now. I know, but no, I don't think so. Who would be I a would space get, tourist? I I'm going to say sizzled uh, up or, uh, 155 going two times. Fly, like just get lost up there? No. Mm -hmm. No? You want to wind up like those guys who went to, it is a steal right now, Jay. I'm basically giving it away. Oh. Fall guys at 160. Oh, good lord! Kevin's saying I'd go with Thule. <laughs> You'd go to space with Thule, Thule. Kevin, what? What about your cats? Yeah, how, who's gonna feed your cats when you're up on a cruising around the moon on a lunar roving vehicle? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh huh. <laughs> And Tuli's like, go with me where? To space, Tuli Tuli. He wants to take you on the on a little cruise on the moon. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Uh, you know what? PPP, do me a favor. Talk to this guy. <laughs> it is quite romantic, though. Uh, but, but Rick said, no worries. He'll watch his cats. <laughs> Rick will volunteer. <laughs> but he said all the way to the Chinese joint on Keystone. <laughs> <laughs> what's it? he's gonna take his cats to go eat at a chinese restaurant <laughs> yeah that, that's exactly what he's gonna do cranky wants to go too he uh, yeah, you'll yeah. be stuck up in the capsule there cranky uh where, where are we at i'm i'm lost now <laughs> uh going once going twice 
And Soul Train. So who even got that one? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, good thing Tiger wasn't here. Uh, he, I'm sure he would be cracking some jokes too. All right. Who got that? All right. Uh, fall Guy at 160. All right. Fall Guy. That was a good price, Fall Guy. Yeah. Um, yeah I showed you guys a video on Old Copper. This is pretty cool. This is a large set. 1848, my friends. And let me tell you. The detail is excellent. You can clearly see Liberty and her headdress. It comes with a nice little uh, piece here. Here's this side, one cent. And United States of America around the perimeter. This is from the Amor American Historic Society uh, certification. And it gives a little story of the cent first struck under the authority of the United States government and let's see 1848 cool piece uh where's david's doubloons he likes stuff like this uh buck and go on the large scent neat piece for your collection yeah it's a beauty mm -hmm. it's actually in very good shape that's probably why they took the time to put it you know you're not gonna put a crappy old slick in a beautiful display case or a display case like that. Uh, buck and go on the large set. Yeah, this probably should be uh, definitely a $50, $55 piece at least, at least. 1848, think about that. We're coming up on, gosh, uh, almost 200 years, 180 years or so. Uh, we're looking at Jay at 45, putting a hammer down on these guys a little bit. But Steve S says, not so fast. That is beautiful old copper. Nice tone to it as well. Uh, it's not all uh, blotchy or anything like that. It's just even tone, hasn't been touched with, hasn't been cleaned, anything like that. Let me show you the reverse again. There you go. One cent. Big, beautiful, bold details with the little story. Nice display piece. Large scent. And uh, let's do the countdown, Mrs. T. We're looking at Steve S. at 48. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a snipe mm -hmm. attempt. And Very true. We're looking at Steve S. at 48 going once. Steve S. at 48 going two times. And good to see my buddy Pistol Packing Pilot here. What, are you, Going, what an auction. You've had monkeys, you've had cats. <laughs> a large scent. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln was 39 when this was made. Going once. Going twice. And, oh, it'll be 39 again. And, so, so, so. Nice piece, Steve S. I think you'll be happy with that one. I truly do. All right. We still have over 50 people here. Uh, we're already over the two hour mark. And let's see what we have next. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. All right, should I do this one? Why the heck not? Why the heck not? All right, plastic. It's right there. Lovers. This one's in plastic, but here's what's special about these. Not only are these old JM bars. Tiger's fine. Tiger's saying goodbye. Oh, Tiger, don't leave yet. Tiger, look at these. Look at these beauties. He has a live stream. Oh, no problem, Tiger. Go do your thing. These are uh, serialized, consecutive. The last three digits are 830, 831, 832, etc., etc., all the way to 837. I'll sell these in uh, pairs, in pairs. Uh, but to make it simple, let's just talk one money so say for example these go for fifty two dollars fifty two dollars and you can tell me do you want two four six or eight we won't do odd numbers because we want to keep the serial numbers together does that make sense to everybody mm -hmm. all right so for the price of one and you have the option of either two four six or eight serialized 
and consecutive JM Vintage Beauties. Uh, here we go. Buck and go. What the hell? Buck and go. Where else are you going to do that? T the Silver Stackers auction. You can get consecutive JM bars still in the plastic. Buck and go. All right. Knox is at 35. Okay. <laughs> Rick Hay, you could do that, but you have to add a little bit higher bid. Uh, let's because see. Knox was the first to 35. Let's see where these go. Oh, and by the way, for those of you with scissor anxiety, whoops, look at that. Oh, see? Scissor anxiety. Uh, I will cut these up in groups of two, four, six, or eight. Man, the scissors are huge. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Knox is at 40. Knox is at. 40 on the JM consecutive serialized <laughs> triggering people. <laughs> Somebody might have just run off, drove right off the road as I'm showing those scissors and I don't know why messing they people like, up. They look huge in the in the video. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Uh 830, 831, 832. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me put that down and tend to the old keyboard here. Let's see. Knox at 40. I wonder how many Knox will take. Knox at that price, maybe all of them. Knox at 40 going one time. Knox at 40 going two times. And Knox at 40 going once, going twice. And so 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 oh sniper rude sniper rude newt at 41 at the last millisecond newt just let mm -hmm. us know how many you want two four six or eight your choice on the consecutive bars he says two you got it let me Cut off two here, and we'll do this, and we'll do that. All right, Newt gets two. There we go. Let me cut these right off of here. There you go, Newt. There you go. You got two. You got uh, 836 and 837 right there. Knox was right behind, and so Knox... I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you would be willing to pay an extra dollar. And Knox, uh, that was a wild snack. Uh, how many would you like? Two, four, six, or eight, Knox? Just let us know. Just let us know. All right. Uh, let's see. Newt was the winner. And, yep, I think Knox was next, right, Mrs. C? Yes, Max okay. and Rick, but Rick says he's out. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. 41 Knox, 2, 4, 6, or 8, just let us know, and you can have consecutive bars. Knox mm -hmm. will pass for okay. now. It might be a little sore over that snipe. That was okay. well-timed snipe. All right, guys, let's see. Oh, I got a, hmm, Mrs. T? Mm-hmm. All right, 10 ouncer, boom, 10 ouncer. And let's see, if we do that, we do that. You got a 10 ounce bar, you got a beautiful eagle, and with the talons and uh, just a gorgeous piece there. Hmm, <sighs> buck and go. All right, let's start off at, hmm, let's start off at a low number and just see where it goes. Uh, 250, 250 to start on the 10 ouncer, 250, so you're talking $25 an ounce, $25 an ounce, 250, and let's get a little competition going here. Let me see the back. Oh, the back, you got it, on bargain price 
silver nice and flat all the way around 250 this is the money side right here that's gorgeous starting bid is $25 an ounce for silver of this quality there you go 250 and uh, flat fatty <laughs> Uh, sounds like a girl I used to date in high school. Flat oh, fatty. My goodness. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh, I don't know who makes this one. Uh, if anybody recognizes, I don't see any distinguishing marks on it or anything like that. So, um, it's 10 ounces of beautiful silver though. I can tell you that. All right. Anybody? $25. Do you guys know that silver is like at $24 an ounce right now? Something like that. Uh, has it been tested? Yes, it came from a reputable shop that does test. They have one of those those big giant guns that they test with. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve S. is a $255. Steve S. is a $255. On... Um, Silvertown. Silvertown. Is it? Mm -hmm. Kevin from the coin hunt is a coin dealer. He knows. Uh, he recognizes Silvertown. Gee. Mm -hmm. This um, this looks to be vintage. I can't claim that for sure because I don't know. Maybe if Kevin knows better than I do, can certainly chime in. But there you go. It's pretty silver. And Steve S is a two fifty five. Uh, super nice bar. I have one. Says Tony. And Steve S is going to get it at $25.50 per ounce, which is dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Considering uh, silver is going up, 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 my friends. And if you want it, jump in now or else Steve S is going to take her down. Going one time to Steve S. And yeah, $25.50 silver. Man, that's like Buffalo price for Silvertown. Oh, uh, well, Rhonda, sorry, you'd have to be at 260. Uh, we're at, at this point in the, uh, once we get over $100, it's $5 increments. So you'd have to be at 260 or higher. Steve S is at 260. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, Steve had it at 255. So Rhonda, you'd have to be at 260. Steve's already there. So. You'd have to be at like uh, 265, Rhonda. Because Steve beat you at a 260. Steve at 255. Uh, Steve at 255 because Rhonda's uh, 256 is invalid. Rhonda, you'd have to be at 265, but I'm going to say going one time. And counting down, counting down, even $26.50 is a good price for old good old looking uh silver town there going two times going once going twice and sold, sold, sold. all right rhonda was at 260. sorry rhonda you needed to be at 265. uh looks like steve got it at 255 which is a bargain because Steve was already at 260. So, oh boy, you're confused. I'm confused. Uh, Steve already had it at 255. And then he did a 260 backup. Rhonda matched the 260. So I guess they would go to for 260 since mm -hmm. Rhonda matched the 260 yeah. backup. If that sounds right to everybody. Right. Tully, Tully, does that make mm -hmm. sense? Because yes. Rhonda did keep Steve honest with that 260 bid. So it went for 260 at Steve. Woo! All right, let's go for something a little bit smaller. And how about some Velcambi? Velcambi, although somebody put a sticker on this darn thing, but the silver is intact and it's got the little holder and you might be able to get that off. Velcambi serialized fine silver AA000144 on the Valcambi stylish silver and there you go buck and go on the Valcambi which side do you want it this way or this way I don't know what side looks better 
Uh, I'm seeing Steve's mm -hmm. bid coming through before Rhonda's. Correct. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. Rhonda did match the the Steve bid. Let, I'll tell you what. Let's just give it to Steve at 255 and make it simple. Steve at 255. So this is T. Mark. That one down for 255. Since we had some confusion there, okay. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Uh, Henry Hicks is at. 41 on the Valcambi. You've got some high-end, stylish silver there. Valcambi Swiss. Oh, and now, speaking of that, mm -hmm. we'll do some Valcambi giveaway. Oh, yeah, you have this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll do a giveaway right after this. We still have over 50 people. Henry at 41 going one time. That's your last one, though, so you're going to wrap it up. You yeah, we're getting yeah. we're yeah. over the two hour mark, Mrs. C. Okay, sounds good. All right, Henry at forty one, Jeff Tooley Tiger Thomas gifted five T the Silver Stacker memberships. Thank you very much, Jeff. That's yeah, awfully nice Jeff. of you. There they go. Appreciate they your generosity and snatch up those memberships, my friends. Yeah. And we're looking at Henry going two times at forty one on the nice Valcambi. Primo silver going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Yeah, John, I'm not sure how you claim those. I know they were up, they, like when somebody does well, that, they, 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 but your name comes up on them. Oh, see? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, well, I don't see it on what I'm looking yeah, at. So, so yeah. So what yeah. happens? So then, like people the can people, call, yeah, they can the claim people. them? Uh huh. Well, that's nice. Very cool. All right, well, cool. thanks for Super doing cool. that, Jeff. That's awfully yeah. nice of you. And thank congratulations, you, you. congratulations to Henry Hicks yeah. at 41 on a nice Belcambi piece right there. And there you go with the serial number. All right, let's give away some silver. And there's still over 50 people here, Mrs. C. Yeah. And let's see, is there a commercial? Is there yes. a commercial? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. The commercial is watch tomorrow's video and comment after the video. I yes. think if I have time, I'm going to have a video for uh, tomorrow. All right. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, Tuli says, I believe there is a setting that you need to select to allow gifts. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, you hit the join and click the. Okay. Mm -hmm. These guys are giving instructions. I never really yeah. knew how to do that. Oh. All right. <clears throat> but they do go out randomly. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. It might be kind of a trick question. <laughs> what day of the week is mm -hmm. T's next auction? And where's Kevin? He'll say purple or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. These guys are not messing around. I see the correct answer. And we have four little packs mm -hmm. of Velcambi silver. The answer is Monday night on Whatnot. So in two days, I'll be on Whatnot. And there's a link. I think Tuli Tuli uh, might be able to grab it and put it in the, uh, in the chat, in the comments. And you could use that link and sign up for Whatnot. You'll get $15 in free credit. So $15 worth of the stuff that I sell, you can get for for free, basically. And in full disclosure, I get a little kickback if anybody's new signing up. And either way, you can join me, have some fun. And is Sherry here? Sherry? Someone's saying, hi, Sherry. Oh, she, Sherry's jumping in saying, hi, Teasters. Hi, Sherry. Oh, hi, Sherry. Yeah. And oh, speaking nice of you, whatnot, my yeah. friend Sherry is on whatnot all the time. So yeah. sign up, you can hang. It's basically, if you've heard of whatnot, but you haven't experienced it yet, it's basically a, uh, a cross between YouTube and eBay, where it's an auction with time, uh, with a little timer though, but the timer is very, very fast paced. Uh, it's a lot of fun once you kind of get the hang of it. And, but it's, it's very social. Uh, Sherry mm -hmm. likes to go on there and BS for a long time. I like to go on there and BS and talk and chit chat. But all the while we're hanging out, we are um, 
you know, selling stuff and it's just kind of a fun experience. So I'm trying to scroll down here to see who got these. So my next one will be Monday and I'm looking at Rick K, Knox, Jeff Tooley, Tiger Thomas, and RH, all correct. Monday, 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 Monday is my next one. And Sherry will be on. Sherry, when are you on, by the way, Sherry? Uh, next week, I know we talked about it earlier today. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for sure. Um, and uh, come check us out. All right, let's see. We're coming down to the end. Um, how about we throw out, hmm, well, here's it. And Kevin was asking for more pours, but not anymore tonight, right? Well, I have, a, I have one little pour. If you want a pours? pour, no, uh, this pours. is not mine though. This is Jaeger poured silver. Whoever won those pieces earlier might want to jump in on this. This is YPS Jaeger poured silver, serialized number 259, 999 fine silver, buck and go. How much silver is it? Oh, 25 grams. I thought that was a 250. That's 225 G. 25 grams of silver. So not quite an ounce. Uh, 30.1 uh, is an ounce. So I don't know. Three quarters of an ounce there. Buck and go. Can't go wrong there, can you? Let's see where we're at on the poured silver by request. Uh, Henry Hicks needs some frack. I got you covered, Henry. Let me go. As you guys are bidding, let me hook Henry Hicks up with the frack. Oh, Kevin's saying that he needs two more real money bars. Oh, real money? Yeah, you haven't had real money in a while. Mm-mm, I have not. Yeah. Oh, look at this piece. This is so, a cool yeah, one. so, mm -hmm. you know, um, those bars. All right, let's see here. Mm, got some fractional, fractional, fractional. All right, here's a few little pieces. Yeah, you. All yes, right, you where can, are we at on this one? You can access on a computer the whatnot. On the YPS, uh, yeah, I think you can yeah. do whatnot mm -hmm. on a computer yes. easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick Hayes at forty uh, on a nice little poured silver Jaeger poured sil silver going one time. For Rick K, going two times, and Henry Hicks wants some fractional, so going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. All right, congratulations there, and let's, let's see this little guy. How much silver is this? A half ounce. From Haley Bug, look at that, a scorpion. Haley Bug, must be a silver pour artist I'm not familiar with, but it's a cool little stamped piece. Uh, buck and go on that little guy, on the scorpion. Ooh, dangerous. Yeah, let's see this side again. I'm not familiar with this one. Got a little bug and an H, half ounce. Half ounce, cool little piece. Buck and go, buck and go. <clears throat> yep, use the link and you'll be good to go, my friend. You'll be good to go. And like I said, you'll get 15 bucks in free silver. Mm -hmm. Let's see, here it is. Let me copy this. All kind one is saying good night. Good night, all kind one. Oh, hey, good night. Thanks for being Thanks. here and hanging Thank out. You. Yes, thank you, uh, appreciate thank you. you. We'll see you maybe on Monday for the whatnot. Here's the link, by the way. Oh, yeah, Tuli, Tuli, beat me to it. Yeah, Something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at on the little uh, scorpion? Henry and 22. Ooh, Henry, that'd be a good purchase. The 22 on a half ouncer, and I believe it's a little board piece. Going one time to Henry Hicks. Going. Two times to Henry Hicks, Mr. Fractional, and Alkine, hope to see you back. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. That's pretty cool as far as half ounce. Uh, here's mm -hmm. another couple of pieces. You got 
Where we go one, we go all. He's got the Punisher there. What is that, a big cue? God bless America. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's a half ounce there. And then you've got the little Morgan motif. You got that one. That looks like a buzzer. Oof. I don't know what side I like. I kind of like that Punisher side. All right. That's a little bit toned up. Uh, buck and go. Buck and go. Are you going to make any more of the big pyramids? Rick wants one. And Rick K. Which Rick K is answering here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Rick K does want one. Uh, Q Anon rounds. I don't know. Is that a Q Anon? I don't know what the heck that is. All right. Eric is at 20. And let's see. Ah, all right. Eric at 20. That's a good price on some interesting little rounds there. He can pick whichever one he wants. Going two times, Eric. Going once. Going twice. And. Sold, sold, sold. Ooh, shiny man. Little yeah. snipe action there. They're going to come pick you up, shiny man. <laughs> that was a good snipe. Would you like the Morgan Dollar replica or you got the Punisher there? Any of you, any of you watch that show, The Punisher? Mm -hmm. That guy would kick some butt, man. Just let me know. Or both. Just take them both. And we'll go from there. Ooh, I got another good piece here. Oh, I got another really good piece. A uh, shiny man takes the Punisher. There you go. Back up there was who was that? Eric. Eric, would you like the uh, the one on the left? And then after that, it was Henry. Uh, just let us know, and I'll get ready for the next piece. And awesome. Eric awesome. passes. Mm -hmm. All right, who's ready for a gold coin? Who is ready for a gold coin? from Canada. Boom. Royal Canadian Mint. If you missed out on the grams earlier, uh, the Pamp and the Valcambi or whatever other gold grams I had, this is an actual coin. You got the queen on one side, one gram, 999 fine gold. It's serialized. It's 2023. It's an actual coin. A little gram. Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, I know what this should go for, but what the hell? Uh, let's go out with a bang here, Mrs. C. Oh, boy. Uh, buck and go on the little gold coin. One gram. Gold coin. You guys. There you go. Yeah. If you don't have any... Canadian gold coins, here's your chance. That's about the smallest one you'll ever find, but a gram of gold a is gram a gram of gold. gold. And who wouldn't want to add a gram of gold to their stack? Uh, Fall Guys at 80, and did I mention it's an actual coin? It's not just a little uh, you yeah. know, piece, it's, it's an actual coin backed by the Canadian government. Uh, Fall Guy is at 80. And that's, oof, that's giving it away right there. No IQ is at 85. I was thinking this one might be over 100. It is a gold coin <clears throat> from Canada. No mm -hmm. IQ at 85. All right. Uh, let's see. Supreme Ginger. Uh, hi, Supreme Ginger. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> You're like, huh? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, what happened? Fall Guys at 87. On the Canadian gold coin. Uh, are you crying because you missed the whole thing? We're coming down to the end here. Although there's still more than 50 people mm -hmm. here. So we could still keep throwing stuff out there here and there. As long as Tuli's up for it. We're at about the two and a half hour mark. A fall guy at 87 going one time. Oh, I think because she's out. 
Oh. Yeah, because she's sticking to her to a budget. Oh, he, he, he. He, he, he. Uh -huh. But he's sticking to a budget. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Said, Sorry to, you have to pass up on, pass on this one. Uh, I'm, Julie says he, she's yeah. up for it if we keep going he, for a little bit. Yeah. And let's see. I'm going uh, 87, going once, going twice. And so, so, so. I got that. I got a little distracted. Uh, keep it up. It says fill in the bank. Not bank, the blank. Fill in the blank. <laughs> yeah. uh, Central Michigan says, let's go. All right, let's okay. see. Who got that guy? The fall guy. Fall guy. Congratulations. You got a nice little yeah. gram coin. And let's throw this dude out there. The old prospector, 1982 variety. Is this the one with the big E on the back? Let's see. Yep, look at that. Love that. I should make a t-shirt with that logo on it. Would, would I get... Well, Inglehard can't sue me. Uh, Inglehard doesn't even exist anymore. So, who would mind? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Inglehard, Biggie, Bull Logo, Buck and Go. Getting close to the end of the night. If you want to buy something here, you're getting down to your last couple of chances here, my friends. 1982, 40-year-old silver. And we're looking at Phil at 36. Henry right behind. Uh, second late to 36. You have to be a 37 or higher on the old Prospector. Well, speaking of old, I've got an ancient coin to go to as well. 54 people. We're looking at Phil at 36. That's a good price on an old prospector. That's a real good price. I think one went for over 40 earlier. Uh, Phil at 36 going one time. Phil at 36 <laughs> going two times. You know what? That sounds like something PPP might do. <laughs> uh, oh, RH is at 37. He knows his vintage. Fish Finder is at 38. And here we go. People are waking up and not letting an old prospector go at 36. Fish Finder is at 38. Rhonda is at 40. There we go. And let's see. Well, Rhonda's bid is up. Let me take a quick look here. Oh, you know what they liked earlier, Mrs. Mm -hmm. T? Yeah. Yep, we'll, we'll run a few what of these. Like. Uh huh. There's that. Oh, there's that. And there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah. That'll go good. All right, where are we at? Rhonda and 40. We got the next. Items up there going one time. Round at 40 going two times. Round at 40 and going once, going twice, and <laughs> RH. RH is old. No, he's sold. He's sold, sold, sold. Of uh, RH of 41. There you go, RH. Nice job on that one. And <coughs> old to RH. Oh, you boy. have to say sold. Sold. Oh, sold. sold. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This is Dean. This is back from the year we graduated. 1990. There's something about these old ASCs. They just shine differently. And by the way, the capsule might be a little scuffed up here and there, but the coin underneath, from what I'm looking at, it looks really good, but it's got a different type of luster. The newer ones have a little, eh, you know, spotty on the back here. And, the, and this these spots are not on the plastic, that's on the coin. So the reverse, not so good. The obverse looks nice. Buck and go, can't go wrong. ASC 1990, if you need one for your, collection need to fill a hole there you go mm -hmm. and how many of you have the coin albums i've got 
the Dansko, I, I like the Dansko. I just like the quality of the Dansko. There's a 1990 backdated ASC for a buck and go. The silver content alone, let alone the fact that it's 1990. So what is that, 35, 34 years old? Ooh, we graduated from high school 34 years ago. Don't. Yikes. Yeah, no. No IQs at 35. And I'm going to go one time. <laughs> you still got it, Mrs. T. Oh. After all those years. After all these years. Still the you one. Have to, yeah, you still have to do, remind do, me do, of do, how do, we are. Do, mm -hmm. Still the one. Going what? Kevin, don't play with my emotions like that, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin? Kevin, we need to talk, my friend. Going once, mm. going twice, and... <laughs> so, so, so. We got that. No IQ at 35. Yes. All right, there you go. Let's throw... 95. Let's go 90 to 95. Again... Obverse looks great. A couple scuffs on the plastic. Let's take a look. Oh, the reverse looks good too. Both sides look good. It's in a kind of a crappy capsule, but at least it's protecting it. Uh, buck and go. 1995. Uh, that's, I was on the five-year plan for college, so that's the year I graduated, or we both graduated from college. 95. 90, in case you're wondering, 96 was the key date for the American Silver Eagle. And, but 95, gee, I'd have to go back and look at that mintage. That might be a lower year as well. I don't have that one memorized. I do have the fact that 96 is the key date, the lowest mintage of all the ASCs, just like 98, as Kevin is mentioning, 98 Libertad's. Uh, 98 is the oldest or the key date on the um, Libertad. 96 for the ASC. I'm going to say going one time. What are we at anyway? Uh, Eric at 30. Oh, Fall Guy at 32. Uh, I'm going to say Fall Guy at 32 going two times. And backdated Eagles. 1990s going once. This is a 95 going twice. And what? Oh, Steve bumps it up. All right, uh, Ginger, have a good one. Uh, <laughs> no worries. We'll see you next time. You take care. And we'll see you on the next uh, video. Next one will be with Sherry very soon. Steve S. is at 33 going one time. Steve S. is at 33 going two times. Going once. Going twice. And... Sold, sold, sold. All right, let's keep it going. We got one more ASC. Let's see what condition this one's in. Uh, let's see, another 95. This one looks a little, uh, it's hard to tell under the capsule, but I think it looks a little milky, to be honest with you. Yeah, it looks a little milky to me. Uh, this one, I don't know so much for this, the numismatic value, but you've got an ounce of silver there. 1995, buck and go. Here we go. Uh, you know what? I'll have to stop by sometimes, yeah, uh, Supreme will. Ginger. And Jay's a 25 on the ASC. Mike's a 27 on the 1995 ASE. And no IQ is at 30. No IQ is at 30. Let me take my last sip of water. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. I'm going to say going one time to no IQ. I'm going to say going, oh, Fall Guy bumps it up to 31 on the 1995. Going one time. Going two times to the Fall Guy at 31. Going once. Going twice. And sold, sold, sold. There we go. All right, I'll tell you what. You guys take a look at this little half ounce of silver here. Half ounce, 999. 
It says copy on it. It's not a real Morgan dollar. It's just a little guy. Half ounce of silver. Where's Henry? You guys take a look at that buck and go. And let me see if there's any other little item for the end of the night that you guys might be interested in. Hmm. There's that, 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 that. So what do you have now? Oh, the little Ooh, piece. This mm -hmm. is a nice one. And there's that. Ooh, there's another nice one. Okay. All right. A couple more and we'll be done for the night, guys. Here we go. Uh, 48 people. Mm -hmm. And Henry, oh, the ancient. Yeah, all right, we'll do three more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Any uh, bars? Fish oh, fingers. wait a minute. I had some stuff up here, too. Any bars? Yeah. All right, we've got some bars over here. All right, we're almost done. That's a cool piece right there, too. All right, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, let's go fast. Henry <laughs> at 17, going one time. Henry, we're going to fast and furious this thing at the end. Going once. Fast and furious. Oh, yeah. Going twice. Wait, our H is at 18. And sold, sold, sold. Our H is at 18. Our H, 18. Boom. Okay. What, should we show them how uh, the um, whatnot goes? No. How fast? No, whatnot goes fast. But it goes really fast. There's an ancient coin whatnot. right there. <laughs> Looks like this guy's got a spiky crown on his head. What ruler this is, I have no idea. It's got some writing you might be able to decipher. But mm -hmm. to me, this is the cool sign. I don't know what the heck little figure this is. It looks like a, is that a figure? Is that someone standing? I don't know. You can look at it under a, a, a loop later. Uh, buck and go. Uh, let's go fast. We're getting down to the end. Tully Tully says, I'm ready. <laughs> and I'm going to say... Who's bidding on the ancient coin for a dollar? Why is no, it my five dollars? Yeah, might as well. Oh, Mike's at fourteen. Okay. <laughs> Jay says it's an alien. Yeah. I don't know. It looks kind of. I don't know what it is. It looks like a figure walking with. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna say going one time. Rick K at fifteen, going one time. Rick K at fifteen. If you want in, you better jump in fast. Going once. Going twice and sold, sold, sold. <laughs> I don't know. You, you might have to use your imagination a little bit with that one. All right. Ooh, remember that milky ASE? Well, this one's not milky. That this one's pristine. This mm -hmm. one's really good shape. 1995. Oh, man, I should have checked my collection. It might be better than my 95 in my book. This one is gorgeous. Buck and go on the good looking ASC there. Buck and go, guys. Better go fast. Better go fast because I'm going to count down fast, my friends. Uh, we have 46 bidders or potential bidders here. Fish finders at 27. And on a nice looking American Silver Eagle, we're looking at Henry at 28 going one time. Henry, oh, no IQ is at 30. Mm -hmm. No IQ going one time at 30. No IQ on a gorgeous 1995. I got to look up the mintage on that. It's kind of low. Going once. Steve S and Fall Guys. Oh, Fall Guys it bumps it up. Steve Go. S. Steve S was the first at 31. Yes. All right, bid fast, guys. Steve S at 31 going once. Uh, Steve S at... <laughs> 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 At 31 going two times. Oh, where are we at? 32, Steve S. Steve S at mm -hmm. 32. No, there um our our daughter walked in. That's oh, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we at here? Steve, Steve S, S at 32, 32 going one time. Steve S at 32 going two times. Backup. Says that's a backup oh okay says at 31. somebody Steve just needs to take it at 35 and be done with it because that's a Steve, gorgeous yeah, Steve S is at 31. what's that all right either way boom so Steve S, you got a good one right there man yeah that one that only has a mintage of uh gosh four million all right any 
Texans in the house. Any Texans? Don't mess with Texas. 2014 Precious Metals. This at uh, the Longhorn. Look at that. I was able to dig up another one of those. Uh, and actually, I came across it at the coin shop earlier this week. You got the Longhorns right there. Texas Longhorns. A beautiful ounce of silver. Buck and go. And we're coming down to the end. Mm -hmm. And then we got, we'll finish with some silver town. Nope. From Michigan. And Eric is at 27. And I'm, my voice is, uh, I think I'm, throat's starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, Henry's at 29 on a beautiful Longhorn Silver. Look at that. And Rhonda is at 30. Rhonda is at 30. Uh, I'm going to say Rhonda at 30 going one time. Better be quick, guys. Rhonda at 30 going two times. Rhonda's going to take it down in just a moment. Going once. Going twice. And... So sold, sold. Rhonda at 30. Congratulations. That's a pretty piece, Rhonda. And take a look at this. Any Silvertown fans here? Any Silvertown fans? You got three pieces in the plastic. Look at that. You got the eagle coming in for a landing. You got the silver town, you know, like the waffle back type of crisscross pattern there. Silver town, the little miner with the donkey there. We're going to say winner can take one, two, or three at the price they pay. So buck and go. Fish finders at 27. Oh, wait. It looks like Jay at 35. Is that where we're at? Can you Oakman carry in Indiana? Uh, let's see. What's I, I can seal carry with no with problem the, at all. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, as as uh, uh, a state with as much freedom as anybody else. I, I know uh, Wyoming. We also saw people uh, carrying their uh, firearms. Uh, Illinois. I've got to be careful uh, mm -hmm. going to Illinois. Can't get busted there. You get in big trouble over there. Yeah. Henry Hicks is at 36 on the cool in the plastic. You can take one, two, or three. I'll bust out the old scissors here and chop away if you need me to. Where are we at here? Uh, going one time to Henry Hicks. Oh, no IQ is at 38 in the silver town. No IQ at 38 going one time. No IQ at 38 going two times. And going once, going twice, and same, same, same. And yeah, I I bought a life license and applied and did all the uh, what I needed to do to get a life license in Indiana. And then uh, like a year and a half later, they changed the law and they said, you don't even need a license. Um, and so no, IQ says three. all three, there you go. That's a good price too. All right. Woo! All right, Mrs. C, what do you think? She, she gave me the old hand across the throat, like cut it off T, cut it off. All right, guys, we're going to say good night. But before we do, everybody, let's hear it for Tuli Tuli. Thanks for being here, and Tuli Tuli, our next YouTube auction, if I remember correctly, will be Sunday night, not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, a rare Sunday mm -hmm. night auction. In the meantime, if you don't want to wait that long to hear me mm -hmm. yap, just show up to <laughs> Whatnot on Monday night, and it goes really, really fast it there. Does, yeah. So if you like fast-paced action... Uh, without me going going once, going twice, and it, it has an automatic timer, so that really speeds things up. Uh, but guys, thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. It's been fun as always. Absolutely. And Tuli Tuli, thanks for for that trade. I can't wait to send you something really cool. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Good night, all forty one of you. 
Thank good night. You, God you, bless. Good night. And have a good one. Have a great rest of your weekend. Night, Tuli Tuli.